Hi, Josie, Rosie, Posey. Hi, Vash. Hi, Small. Hi, Nacy. Hi, Mr. Broccolini. Mr. Broccolini. Hi, Just Board. Hi, Exporzy. Hi, Bobby Wellington. Hi, Cookie Coleman. Cookie Coleman, huh? Kasek, Edward. What's good? How's your Saturday going? I accept answers only in the form of an emoji. COGD, if I made a Valorant Academy for the Union, would you be a student? There's two ways I can go with this question. Uh, number one is I can go, why would I be the student when I'm the master and do a whole thing about how I'm really good at Valorant. Number two is I can make a joke about how I'm so bad that you'll never be able to teach me. But the third option and the more likely one is that I'm going to tell you the truth, which is no. <laughs> this is just not going to happen. I'm just not going to, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to play Valorant. Uh, but I appreciate the offer sincerely. And I hope you do it. Um, you're telling me that killing Sean this bean, I'm not telling you that, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, doesn't attract. Let's go. I'm sorry, but Valoranti child's game. The bright colors, it just, it's for kids, all right? So I can't, me, I play CSGO every single day of my life. You wanna go to Global Elite with me? I'm trying to learn more about Russia and China, and so I'm playing CSGO every day. <laughs> so that I can be yelled at by people from those countries. Um, you're wearing... Hey, 32 months, JS Calls. Salute. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, hey, Mr. A, how did the Eldritch Horror Show turn out last night? Well, if you guys don't know, last night I did a bit of a... Um, video game sculpting competition with uh, some sort of professional. And I really held my own, if anyone was uh, awake for that. If they watched it, they saw that I really brought a unique take to the art of video game sculpting. This was my creation, a beauty, a true beauty. Uh, if you wanna know, it should have looked like this. <laughs> This was, this was the goal, and I feel like I nailed it. Um, you can definitely see. Actually, demonic. <laughs> Can't even tell the difference. Exactly, right? Exactly. So I feel like I sometimes, uh, you know, people are saying like, "Oh, you didn't know how to do it," but I think I was pretty good. Why did I get shivers down my spine? When you watch greatness, it's like when someone first saw Michael Jordan play, they were like, whoa, I got chills. <laughs> it's such a natural talent. Uh, there we go, let me get this light back. Mm, and you weren't professional? I know, can you believe people were even better than me? Hey, Big Glizzy, can you finish Scorn, please? My favorite stream game. I don't believe you, Breaking Point, because it was nobody's favorite stream game because it was bad. It was a very bad game. Thank you though, for the nine months, eight months, um, Hyatt Kai, I think the 27 months. How's it? Fuck. Hello. Thank you. <clears throat> Are you going to catch up on Elden Ring lore before DLC comes out? Probably not. What would I, what did I not know? You know, I watched the Vatia stuff on stream back when we did it. I'll probably watch a video about the DLC once I play it, but I feel like I'm caught up. It's all about how the Glamorai uh, laid waste to all of the less glamorous people in the land. Finally putting on the golden helm. Uh, Gavin Sight, thank you for the six months. Uh, what up, Henry? How's the Warhammer? Oh. <laughs> I was wondering what this guy was doing. He, uh, I'm sorry, you've, made, you've, mista you've mistaken me for Henry Cavill. Very common. Very common misconception because of my mustache. I don't know if you noticed. Because of this mustache slash facial hair combination, You've tuned in and you thought, oh, I'm watching famous actor Henry Cavill. Actually, it's me, Atrioc. Um, very common mistake. He gets the same thing. 
I was talking to Henry and he said, I was on the set of The Witcher. People were like, hey, Atriac, I didn't know you were starring in this show. And he goes, no, I'm not, I'm not Atriac. I'm... So it's, we both get it. It's, it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, happy 32 months watching from a plane right now because I love the content so much. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> Hopefully not a Boeing. Hopefully not a Boeing. Hey, big guy, love the shirt. Do they make it in men's? <laughs> Why come in with this energy? Why come in with this? This is, a, this is obviously a men's shirt. And also my wife made this for me. And also it depicts my dog. So why would I not wear it? I feel like you're coming in with such a spice. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Some people are just haters. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> You are the one that said it. What do you, what? <laughs> are you just hoping I'm not reading the names? It's you, you are the one. <laughs> what <are> you, <laughs> you're like trying to play both sides to get pulled up twice. What the hell, and it worked. Did your sleeve shrink? No, bitch. These arms grew, these guns. Henry Cavill style. <clears throat> Watch yourself, dude. Watch. I'm armed and dangerous. I'm armed and dangerous, bro. I'm doing huh, bent over rows. Huh, uh, uh, pull ups. Uh, fucking bicep curls. Uh, need a new game to play. Any recommendations? Yeah, play. Um, what game? should you play? I don't want to get you onto Bellatro. I mean, if you haven't played Silk Song, or not Silk Song, uh, Hollow Knight, play that. Fantastic game, a journey. Um, yo, Big A! My, I had to think of my laptop the sub. Sad face, but my sub is now older than me in months. Your sub is 23 months old. I think you're trying to say you are you are younger than 23. But the way you wrote it is that the sub is just older than you in months and you are under 23 months old. <laughs> what, what, what you actually wrote is that you are under 23 months old. But I get what you're trying to say. Um, genuine question. Do you cook? Which I, I don't. I should. I want to learn. I want to learn. I, but I don't really cook. Um, the only thing I ever cooked was like... Um, What's it called? It's like orange glazed chicken. <laughs> yeah, honey orange glazed chicken. This is the only recipe I ever cooked. I used to make it in college a lot. Uh, where you'd have actual orange slices and you'd uh, fry up a chicken and uh, that worked. Um, that was like the only recipe I ever had. And I think Ari saw me cooking that and thought I could cook. <laughs> And that was it. That was the only one. That's the only one dish I've ever really cooked. That and cereal. Um, but uh, luckily I got money. <laughs> so then I just I can order stuff. Um, but uh, I do want to cook. The problem with cooking is, first of all, Ari is much better at me and enjoys it. She actually likes it. Uh, because she didn't cook when I met her. She like learned it. She like liked to do it. It became a hobby. And so, like, why do I do it and then make a mess and then it's worse than if she cooked? And then there's also the mess. Mm. Cook with your wife? Yeah, I mean, I help. Uh, but usually it's not helping in the way that makes me learn anything. I'm meal prepping my own Chipotle bowls this weekend. That's pretty fucking good. Um, I think meal prepping is, like, such a good habit in that it saves you a bunch of money and you eat healthier and... Um, you get cooking skill and I don't know a lot of things. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. low key, I need to start doing that. Yeah, I, I just think it's but it's just tough to get in the habit, you know. I feel like meal prepping people are all uh, they, they're good at that kind of habit thing. Sean Bean is, yeah, we are killing Sean Bean today without a doubt. I meal prepper, not what do you mean? What do you mean by this? You mean your meal prep is like you make yourself a pre-made Lunchables? Or what? You, you, 
You have goldfish in a bag. Goldfish, a B, a four loco. <laughs> and a zin. A <laughs> in a paper bag, and you make eight of those. Uh... Chipotle's not unhealthy. I mean, it can be, right? But, like, I think Chipotle's a healthy meal option. Goldfish in a bag clears. Well, sure. <laughs> I mean, goldfish is good. I don't know why it has to be in a bag. I don't know. Could be a lot. I tried Zins, and they weren't that good. Well, you just got to keep trying. Any true Zinner will tell you that the key is to keep doing it until you suddenly can't imagine not doing it. Mm, they're an acquired taste. <laughs> I've realized my friends actually have a problem with Zins. They can't stop. Well, they have a problem with you not spelling it right, motherfucker. If you're gonna, if you're gonna confront them about it, spell it right so they know you're a true Zinner. In fact, what you should do is sit down with them, uh, pop a Zin, <laughs> and then be like, "Listen, I get it. I'm cool, <laughs> but we gotta stop this." Uh, that's the only way to break it. They have to know they can trust you. I'm addicted to Zins because of you, Big A. I don't, I have never promoted Zins. I don't use Zins, personally. Though I can tell that Shake is getting fucking addicted. I always hated cooking. Uh, I always hated cooking. But I started looking up recipes of things I enjoyed to eat. Now I love cooking. I have a job at a chef. Wow, you went the fucking full. You hated it? Started looking at recipes. Loved it and now became a chef. So you do it full time for work. That is the journey. That is a that is a full arc. I don't think that I would ever go that far, but I do think it's admirable. I think cooking is something that like it's a skill everybody likes uh, when you have. It's just good. It's a good skill. You know, food is so primal to us as humans. I got my dad to put my inheritance into Justin. I feel like Minecraft Implosion, you have came into chat with at least eight different stories about your dad's inheritance. And I don't believe any of them anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've run this bit before about how your dad's inheritance is in fucking gambling because of me. And your dad's inheritance is, I don't buy it, bro. I don't, I'm not, it's not tracking with me. Uh... My flatmate taught me how to make nachos recently. Okay, but I, I can't cook, but I can't imagine it's hard to make nachos. <laughs> you just put cheese and then pour the toppings on and then put it in the microwave and melt it, or you put it in the oven and melt it. That's why it's so great. All right, bet. Uh, true facts. Mm. Hey, big truck. Glad you went live to catch the Australian F1 race. My parents are there. My parents are just died in the wool F1 fans and they flew to Australia and are there at the F1 race. I don't get it. I don't, uh, I mean, I guess I do get it now that I'm a Le Leclerc fan, but it is cool. They love it. They think it's fucking sick. Um, connections, yeah, I'll be doing that today. Are they upside down? Uh, today we're, we're going to do, uh, you know, connections and time guesser and shit. And then get some other Saturdays. And then later we're going to do the Sean Bean elusive target, which is the very first elusive target in Hitman history. It is the OG, the classic kill Sean Bean. They literally put the actor Sean Bean into the game. Um, so it should be fun. It should be fun. Or me and uh, a spectacle, we're going to race it and try to think be fancy and do fancy kills hey truck i had the worst flu hey physics um you had the flu you said stay away i have the flu the motherfucker said the flu it's april buddy <laughs> i don't know what that means <laughs> if you are sick and someone tells you that you are just in the month of April, which also isn't true. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's not even April. So even if it was April, that wouldn't make sense. I'm waiting for the Sean Bean cameo. Oh, dude, I cannot fucking wait for the new James Bond game. 
I, I, I really think that's going to be the game for me to really start grinding. Nothing in the in the immediate future looks fun to grind. Silk Song, that's 2027 at the earliest. <laughs> I want to play that. I can grind. James Bond game we fun to grind. I can't. Nothing. Nothing I see like looks like worth grinding over just grinding YouTube videos or whatever. Like in real life, I I, I don't see a game that I want to just dive into. Um. Silk Song will come out when GTA 6 comes out. That'd be so stupid for them. Can you imagine if all of the hype Silk Song is built up and then they release same day as GTA 6? <laughs> it's like the only day in history they might get outshined. That's so it, I, ah. Imagine they outsell it. I think there's zero chance of that, but uh I think I, oh wait, I just did the first levels of the John, John Bean escalation. What, what? <laughs> Sean Bean, okay. It's not John Bean. He's a real person. His name's Sean. Hey, big guy, I missed stream yesterday, so I couldn't ask you what the plan was for tomorrow. <laughs> what a round, I'm still timing you out. What a roundabout way of asking what the plan is today. I'm still timing you out. There's fucking 10 minutes. Uh, but I already went through. I just went, well, also it's worse because I just went over it eight seconds ago. Uh, how's everybody doing? What's going on? What's your, what's your Saturday? Did I, did I stream yesterday? Yeah, I did. I skipped stream on Thursday maybe for magic. Um, I went, uh, a truck, I went a really good video on China from the YouTube channel moon called <laughs> I've, I've been hit or miss on moon. Not sure all the moon videos have really hit for me. I'd be down to try it. Um but they don't they don't all fucking I I definitely saw one that was a real stinker. And so I didn't didn't trust it. Um Also, guys, a plat today in TFT. The grind is real. I played TFT today with uh, Aspect and Yeti and um, a couple other people. It was fun. New TFT sets, pretty fun, I will say. They've done it again. They've managed to waste more of my time on a game that I don't know why I play, but I just enjoy it. Um, but it's just fun. I don't know. I, it's like it's the it's like just not mindless enough to keep me engaged. But also just mindless enough that I feel like, all right, I'm not stressed about it. Um, oh, Overwatch. Bro, did you guys see the Overwatch? Uh, canceled their PVE? Like the whole story? Here, yeah, look at this. Bro, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing for Blizzard. That was the entire selling point. That's why they said they needed to get this game out. It, they essentially just relaunched Overwatch and they didn't add anything. It's like a... It's fucking ridiculous. I kind of think they were lying about it. it. That's what it almost feels like. It feels like they had nothing. I mean, they in all the previews, they made it sound like PvE was the big fucking draw. It was going to have a story mode. You could play with your friends. This is how I saw it, okay? Uh, wait, where, where's, give me like this, okay? God, oh God, I got jump scared. <laughs> wait, <laughs> I got jump scared by, uh, by this. <laughs> Whew, what a creation. So it's like, Okay, you got Overwatch 1. Everyone loves it at launch. It's amazing. Everyone's playing it. T huge player base. Super beloved. Characters everyone loves. Then they have Overwatch League. And people don't really like this. And it ruins the game. <laughs> it's got fucking DJ count. Again, in the beginning, it's fine. But like, 
it very quickly turns the game from like the fun game when you play with friends to like people trying to grind it for some kind of esports success, which isn't fun to watch. Nobody wants to watch this. And so the game becomes filtering out of casuals. And then the, you know, the meta gets really lame. And so the game's about to die. I mean, it's massive fall off. The only reason they make any money off this is because they fucking trick Twitch. This is my Twitch logo. <laughs> into giving them $100 million, okay? Uh, <laughs> that's it, okay? So that's the only reason this thing fucking works for any amount of time. Um, eventually, the viewership goes down to like fucking zero. Overwatch, Overwatch League, zero. <laughs> and all the teams just tell Blizzard, hey, we're not paying. <laughs> Because all the teams owe Blizzard money for the, the team slots, which cost millions. They were paying it over time. And they just say, hey, we're not paying. And all the teams cut their staff to zero and just basically field like five random, six random players. It's it's complete disaster. So they shut it down around COVID. And that's what Blizzard has a plan. We'll get them all back with Overwatch 2. And we're just going to fix all the problems. Not only are we going to make the game more balanced for, for Overwatch League, but we're going to have this awesome PvE mode that makes it so casuals can play with their friends. It's, it's amazing. But then they rush it out the fucking door because Overwatch is so bad. Like Overwatch 1 is tanked so hard. They need a win now. So they rush this out the door. It doesn't really do shit. <laughs> you know, there's like a little spike. I mean, the game's more fun to play. To my understanding, it's more fun to play uh, PvP. But the player base isn't big enough to justify investing more in this, so they just cancel it. So everything they promised was a lie. Uh, the teams still aren't paying, and the league's basically dead. I mean, it, it's that's it, yeah, it's like a it, it's like a shop update. It's like so, it, the game is so similar to this. It's not. It's a fundamentally like a balance patch, and, and that's how Blizzard pulled off. I think that's a pretty big. I don't know. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I don't know how else you could put this as not reflecting really poorly on blizzard um it's just there are less champs the games are less chaotic yeah i mean the biggest thing they did is they just made the games go from six to five <laughs> they just cut down the team size which you know what you could do without buying a whole new game um As a diehard Overwatch player, I can steadily say the PvP is getting a lot better. I appreciate what you're saying, but you also have to understand you're the type of person that has Overwatch League All Access Pass 2018 in your bio. <laughs> you have the Overwatch League 2018 icon floating next to your name. You are not the average person that they, that's going to... Do you know I worked on that? The fucking All Access Pass. It was an attempt for Twitch to get their fucking money back from spending a hundred million dollars and it didn't work at all. You were like one of the only people to purchase this. This sold fucking dick all. Uh, it was a huge disaster. You know, the, uh, uh, I mean, all that stuff was, I don't know. It's just, uh, it, it, yeah. So it, in my mind, it, there's so many errors from Blizzard around this. And, and I do think the game might be fun now, but like, not in ways they couldn't have applied to Overwatch original. So selling the whole new game just feels like a bait and switch. Um, doo -doo 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 Imagine if the badge was gold clueless. <laughs> uh, even better, even strong. Oh, uh. An even more powerful one approaches. Have you guys seen Physical 100? I watched a little bit of it today uh, with Ari. Physical 100, it's like the Netflix show where they have like 100 ripped Koreans just like uh, fight each other. It's, it's uh, yeah, the show's kind of imbalanced, I will say. It's fun. It's just a fun, I mean, it's, you know, I don't, I mean, it's, it's actually, here's what I'll say about it. I want to hate it. I hate the editing style. I hate the little uh, voiceover things they throw in. I want to hate it, but I can't look away. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. That's what I, I would love to hate the show because it's very, very like reality TV, very, 
Uh, but like, yeah, extra Korean where they have, again, a narrative like forced down your throat that the, the producers have decided. But uh, it's just fun. It's fun. Uh, the first challenge is like, they have everybody, 100 hot ripped people uh, ranked by how strong they are. I skipped the first episode, so I don't, but they're just ranked. They, and they have to wear their number on their shoulder. So like number one is like the guy who's like the fucking strongest. Oh, they ran. Okay, they ran. They, they did a run. So we're one of the first challenges ranked. And then number one has to go through the other 99 and pick somebody to challenge. And so they go like in order and everyone picks an opponent. But you could just pick, I mean, generally men are stronger than women in a physical contest. But like a dude could just go pick a woman. <laughs> and there's this one woman who picks a dude, which is like, oh, whoa, whoa. And she she picks this like strong looking guy, and uh, no, a man did do that, hipster. A man did pick the woman in the episode of the day. But this woman picks a guy, and everyone's going, "Oh, whoa, she's tough." And then the, the challenge was there's like a basically a volleyball, and they're just in an arena, and whoever's holding the volleyball at the end is the winner. And I guess you can't punch someone. I mean, they can't. They can only wrestle, not fight. And this woman just locks down on the ball and does not let go. <laughs> and the dude is much stronger than her, but he cannot get her off of it. He just simply can't do it. Eventually, he flips her over completely. She doesn't let go. And then the time runs out and she wins. And the dude is so defeated. He's standing there like... He's just like... <laughs> just... Like his head down, he won't look up at the camera. It's actually, it was very impressive. It was very impressive. Uh, he's super pouting, yeah. Uh, but I don't, I mean, they don't tell you that there's like hidden rules, but there must be hidden rules. Cause obviously, like the first round was like a fucking super ripped guy against the K-pop star. And the K-pop star was fast, but not very strong. And like the strong guy could have just punched him in the face. <laughs> And like held him back, you know, but he wasn't allowed to do that. So, um, like he could have easily just not let him get the ball, but with just physical violence. And he, he clearly didn't do that. So there must be some rule. Um, do, 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 do. Did you watch Beast's interview with Colin and Samir about the biggest games forever? Did you watch? Well, you didn't. Oh, I'm not trying to say anything, but we covered this on Marketing Monday. Talked about it. Um, uh, hey, Big A, I'm drunk as a skunk and tuning in for good vibes. How do you recuperate after a tough March Madness tourney loss? I guess what I do is I get drunk as a skunk and turn on Twitch. <laughs> That's what I do when I have a really tough March Madness tourney loss. So if you're doing that, um, and blame the refs, yeah. The issue with physical 100 uh, is that they can't do it in North America because I'm here. The, the feeling is that you are too strong that if they were to do it, it would break the game. It's interesting. I'm not 100% sure that's true. Just given that we have a lot of strong people in America. Uh, not... 100% that is fact, but I'm sure you're quite strong. <clears throat> hey, Big A, my company is currently in the process of being acquired by Boeing. Wish me luck. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, it's not good for the company. It's fine for you. Unless you just don't, just don't get the urge to whistleblow about anything. <laughs> Uh, you know, take the money if you have any stock and relax. Unless they want to be like, hey, let's celebrate by a flight on the new 747 Max. That That's the only thing I would watch out for. But uh, other than that, I think you're good. Is Twitch Turbo the same premise as YouTube Premium? I cannot hop streams without watching. Uh, I, uh, I Yeah, Twitch Turbo is no ads, right? That's my understanding. I don't know if they still offer it. I, I don't even know if Twitch Turbo is like still a thing they talk about. 
Um, but you could also just sub, you know? And if you sub to the channel, maybe check if you're a prime. Uh, all of a sudden, you're fucking ad-free. Uh, why would you... Uh, yeah, just use an extension. Did you see the results of Ludwig versus chat stock picks? Both did well, plus 25%, but edge up by 500 by a whole. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't see it, but that's pretty good. Uh, 25%, pretty good. S&P 500 is up, you know, based on the Magnificent 7, but if you picked stocks and did plus 25%, then you did a pretty good job. Um... <laughs> I wonder what my results are if I took out NVIDIA and Amazon. Like the ones, I wonder what my, uh, it was worse than the market. Yeah, I mean, S&P 500 had a, had a pretty good run. S&P 500 does not average 31% returns though. <laughs> you know, if you stock picked and did 25, that's pretty good. As we haven't had a, a, a above average run uh, in the past year, but I wouldn't. That shouldn't be your benchmark. Is thirty one percent? Nobody's doing thirty one percent a year. Nobody. Not fucking. Um, I'm a business major graduate with no clue how to invest in stocks. Uh, again, business major should teach you how to. <laughs> Contribute to a business, <laughs> not uh, day trade. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Again, uh, get a paycheck, put some of it into broad index funds, do what everyone else does, you know? Um, Nancy Pelosi, is she not a, is she a vision major? She's a poli sci. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi turned poli sci into fucking $200 million. <laughs> uh... What's your opinion on working a nine to five? Cringe or W because passive income? I have no idea what this question means. <laughs> How is a nine to five passive income? It's the opposite. How, it's like the opposite. There's nothing less passive than a nine to five. That's what it is. What's your opinion on working a nine to five? Cringe or W because passive income? All right, when people say passive income, they mean money that like is earned while you sleep. So for example, if you own real estate or something and you're not doing any work on it, but it grows in value, that's passive income because when you later sell it, you made money without doing anything. That's Passive income doesn't mean like an easy job. <laughs> that's still active income, even if it's easy. Um, uh, hey, you get a steady nine to five with a boss you like, coworkers you don't hate, and a paycheck you feel good about. But you're in the you're in the fucking top percent, bro. You're you're crushing. Don't uh, a lot of people I think have abandoned. Well, I don't say a lot of people, but there are people who have abandoned. I think good jobs to chase um, like Airbnb hustling and like getting a lot of debt and trying to form this passive income that ends up being very active, very hard work, very risky, debt prone. Um, and I think that is a huge mistake. Uh, I think that's a huge mistake. I would never, never recommend that. My nine to five is working for my dad as accounts. Stop migrant pollution. I can't, you can't start every story with something about your dad that is directly relevant to what we're talking about. Because eventually I'm gonna think that you are just making it up. <laughs> and and every, everything goes back to how your dad does this or that or What he's being real? Uh, I mean, this, this sounds real. I work for my dad as my accountant secretary. I don't do work for shit, do it all in one hour, then I watch Twitch and do unit work. That is, I mean, that is true passive income. I remember Stans, my big dog Stans, he did um, campus IT, which is like basically 
sometimes a teacher at ASU would need help like setting up a projector. <laughs> And he would go there, he would set the projector, and then he would have all the rest of the day free. I mean, it just wasn't, he spent a ton of time just chilling uh, on his laptop in like the, I don't know, tech area, and just playing League of Legends or doing schoolwork. He got paid for it. He got room and board for it. So they covered his, um, like, dorm. Uh, was actually the ultimate goaded, scroted system. Yeah. Didn't you play TFT all day at NVIDIA? That was one, literally one day. I told that story about one day that I did that because it was the day before the season ended and I wanted to get, uh, what's the one before Challenger? What's the one before Challenger? Grandmaster? It was Grandmaster. Yeah, I was trying to get GM. And I had to do it that day. So I booked a meeting room with frosted windows and I sat in there and I played TFT. Yes, 100% I did that. That was season one. You can see, uh, did it keep track? Wait, Atriac uh, TFT. How do you, can you see like season one? Atriac TFT. They used to have like a website where you could like see. Um, You could see, mm, oh wait, I can scroll back. TF, no, it only goes back to 8.5. Bummer, 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 bummer. Anyway, frosted windows, yeah, like the windows where you can't see what's going on in the room. So it would be like strategy meeting, <laughs> you know? It would be like booked by Brandon Ewing strategy meeting. And then I was in there on my laptop and I was just fucking grinding. Uh, but that I think that was like a Friday. Dude, the thing about NVIDIA is like, Friday was, it's not that you didn't work, but like people checked out early. Which I just think is normal for a lot of office jobs. Um, don't know Wall Yeti, what did Yeti say? Oh, Lol Chess, NA set one. Oh, Pog, look at this. Do, 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 Uh, wait, no, but this doesn't show it. This doesn't show that I did hit it. <laughs> this is actually incorrect, Yeti. This is actually incorrect. No, I hit, no, this is, this is actually incorrect. I'm not kidding. I'm going to show it, but I, I'm not kidding. Right here is where I hit GM. It may have been for a day. I, I, my hand of God. Scroll down. Oh, wait, I did. No, wait. Yeah, I thank God. Oh, thank God. Hey, fuck you, chat. Oh my God, everyone said copium. Everyone said doubter. Everyone said busted. Everyone said fact checked. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I fucking hate, Ugh. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Ooh, sit back down though. Ooh, sit back down. Sit the fuck back down in your chairs. Yes. Yes, I fucking. Mm. That's what I'm fucking talking about. I never, ever, ever would lie about something like that. Ever. All right? That's on fucking God on my mama. And fucking Yeti pulling up this website. I was like, wait, what the fuck? I know for a fact. Uh... Now check on time wasted on law. That's got to be 20,000 hours, bro. Uh, I wouldn't be this joyful. It's league. Well, it's actually worse. It's TFT. <laughs> TFT is fun, though. It's like a strategy game, you know? I love strategy games. I got Mythic in uh, Magic Arena drafting. I got ranked number one in Shardbound. I like card games. Card games are, card games are beast. Is like Bellatro? Uh, hmm. TFT, if you like Bellatro, you'd probably like TFT. Low key. Low key, I think you would. Uh, Hearthstone, I got Legend fucking seven times. Um, 
Do you just draft MTG or play, play constructed? I've only ever drafted MTG. I've never played constructed. I'm actually uh, awful at constructed. Because in constructed, you have to learn one deck really, really well and all the outs. I'm very bad at that. Just on God. I'm bad at um, commander. I'm, bad, I'm only good at drafted. Um, did Shardbound reach out about any sponsorships? Uh, Shardbound is now purchased by an NFT company. Crypto NFT scamming company, I think. So everyone you see people doing it, shilling it, is doing it for crypto and NFTs. And so I would not take a sponsorship with them. Uh, and not, nor would I play it again. But it was a great game. It really was a beautiful game. They got funged. Did you ever play LOR? Is it the League of Legends one? The um, Legends of Ruterra? I played it like in beta. It was fun. But... Um, very unfun to watch. And so I got this vibe that it was going to be shit for Twitch. And then I thought they would cancel it. But they didn't. They supported it for a very long time. So I should have played it longer. Um, one day Raynaud's card game will come out. <laughs> oh, wait. Have I ever told my Raynaud story? Do you guys even know who Raynaud is? He used to be like one of the kings of Twitch. Have I ever told the Raynaud story? I feel like I've held it forever. Um, do you guys know this guy? Raynaud? This guy was like the biggest streamer back in the Hearthstone days. Um, and then he like stopped streaming. He also founded a team called Tempo Storm that was doing pretty well, making money. Uh, esports team. Although, well, probably not actually. Esports teams don't make money. <laughs> But you know, it was it was doing well. Uh, you know, it had viewership, and then um, and then he decided to like put all his money and time into a video game, and I'm not knocking that because that is a cool idea. He had this idea for a game called The Bazaar, be his own card game, build it from the ground up. But it's just never come out. It's just never ever 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 come out. Um, And so it's just been years. It's been years and years and years. And I think he keeps pushing it back. And I don't know. Uh, it's uh, it's tough. But the... the <laughs> Sounds better than Meta Zoo. Well, I, I think he ended up saying... See, here's the problem. Is I was like, you know what? Take as long as you need, King. But then I think they ran out of money to keep funding the dev... And so they had to get a crypto sponsor to help finish the game. And now the game might have crypto in it. And so that, um, that's tough. Like that, now I'm no longer excited um, for the game, which is, which is tough. First two years of Hearthstone were the peak of TCG. I do think the first two years of Hearthstone were fucking awesome. That was the, my first two years at Twitch. That was back when you could expense Hearthstone packs <laughs> to Twitch. God, what a cool time. I could buy packs of Hearthstone cards to get the latest decks and expense it. Uh, what, a, what a company. What a time. Um, yeah, it was market research. It was market research. <laughs> Uh, but here's my Raynaud story. I'll just tell it real quick because it's not, not an amazing story, but I've been holding on to it. I think I told it on the podcast one time with Stans. And that was like eight, 80 viewers. It was no one. All right. What's up, Prezzo? Wait, are you is Prezzo saying that Raynaud started attack helicopter? Is that real? Wait. The attack helicopter whack ass joke was started by Raynaud? Okay, no. Okay, it's not. Okay, okay. It was just his TTS stream. I get it, I get it, I get it. Um, well, did you guys know, wait, did you guys know that, um, it's kind of a dead meme now, but you know when people used to ask what song is playing on Twitch, everyone would say Darude Sandstorm, no matter what it was. They would all say Darude Sandstorm. Did you know that started with the odd one? The TSM mid laner, he started that. That, that meme comes from his stream. Uh, not mid laner, sorry, that's jungle, I'm sorry. 
Not mid laner, jungler. You're absolutely correct. Um, jungler, yes. Famously, he's got the uh, Elise Baron steel. Yeah. Uh, I got perma banned in his chat 12 years ago. The only chat that I think I is the only one that I know that I'm banned in is S fanned. I've never chatted in there once. I've never spoken to him. I've never. I just tuned in one day and it was like, you're banned. And I was like, I wonder why that is. Apparently what happened was, I think years ago, Ludwig was on his computer and just slashed banned me as a joke. This is my understanding. Something Ludwig told me. He just banned me in s -Fans chat. And I've never ever, I've never, I've never typed in there. I don't think s -Fan, I don't know each other. <laughs> I just that's the one chat I could never fucking chat in. I um it's fucked up. I would love to, you know, watch some GTA RP. Uh so anyway, ran that story. Uh so it's 2013. I am unemployed. I am broke. I am well, I'm doing these odd jobs uh for esports companies to make money. I'm living in a fucking Craigslist rented apartment. I'm babysitting. <laughs> I am just trying to fucking get a, get a job anywhere, okay? And um, I'm gonna skip part of the story that's funny, but through amazing circumstances, I end up getting to go to the season three world championships of League of Legends as press. Uh, I go there as press, I meet someone from Twitch, we're talking, we hit it off, I give off a good vibe, I float my resume, he mentions he has a job coming up for marketing. I say, I studied marketing. It works out. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. Um, he invites me to a BlizzCon after party later that year. Um, again, it's like maybe a month later after the thing. He's like, hey, you're gonna be at BlizzCon, right? You're press for Team Liquid. <laughs> I'm like, fuck no, I don't, I don't have a ticket to BlizzCon. So what I do is I, and I'm not, so, I uh, I remember I drive my fucking shit, shitty Ford Focus um, to BlizzCon and I go out front. I'm just walking in front of BlizzCon. This is BlizzCon. If you guys don't know, it's the fucking, it's a big deal, especially this time. I think Blizzard's really had a fall off, but BlizzCon 2014 is fucking epic, okay? So I, there's a huge crowd here. Imagine like there's a million people all out front this. And I'm just walking around this area saying like, anyone got tickets? <laughs> trying to scalp a ticket. I'm just trying to scalp a fucking ticket. And, uh, cause I need to get in to meet this guy. And so I wonder if I still have this badge. I kept it, wait, I might still have it. Um, No, I mean I think Ari cleaned it up somewhere. I used to I used to keep every one of these badges. Anyway, uh this guy goes, Hey, yeah, I got a ticket. I got a ticket. I'll sell it to you. And I don't remember, but it was like it was like too expensive. It was too expensive for the money I had. Um and, ugh, I don't remember the price. I don't know what they cost normally. I feel like it was like 120, something like that he was trying to offer me. Anyway, I could I so I was like, hey, look, I don't want any of the cosmetics. I don't want any of, because it came with like free um, whatever. Like you could get like a, a pet and wow. You could get like a all this stuff. Like I can't afford any of that. I was like, bro, you can have all the cosmetics. I don't want anything. I just need a day pass to get in. I'll even give it back to you at the end of the day. You could have my number. <laughs> And he's like, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm like, bro, I, just, I gotta do it for 60. Anyway, um, he ends up agreeing, all right? He ends up being like, fine, whatever. So we walk to the ATM together and I pull out the money. Uh, it's like the last 60 I have in my fucking account. I give him the 60 um, and he gives me the badge. And the badge says like fucking Grant Douglas on it or something. <laughs> That's why I wish I had the badge. It was a stupid name. It was a stupid name. 
So it's like Grant Douglas. All right. And so I'm wearing a different person's badge and I get into BlizzCon. Thank God. Now I'm here. Now I'm in the event. Now I can like network and meet people that I said. Um, I remember the first person I see because I'm looking around. I don't recognize it. I don't know anybody. I'm like, fuck. It was Shindigs. This is before I worked at Twitch, before I knew him. Uh, Shindigs, the streamer I've rated sometimes, he was just a dude that I knew from um, other things. He's like, hey, bro, let's go watch games together or whatever. So Shindigs was super nice to me. I really appreciate that. Gave me someone to hang out with during the day so I wasn't just lonely walking around this combo myself. So uh, Shindigs is the GOAT. Really, fuck, I'll never forgot that, even though he probably doesn't remember this. Uh, we walked around, had a good time. And then I see the guy I was here to meet, which is my future boss at Twitch. And I'm like trying to cover up my badge name. <laughs> like I remembered every time I ran into him, I would turn my badge around to the back so it didn't show my the fake name. So it would seem like I just had a badge normally and wasn't like scalping. And um, like I just avoided the press areas because I didn't have a press badge. But I like I was pretending to be press, and and he, anyway we talk and we shoot the shit. We have a good time. It all goes well. It's all going smooth. And eventually he's like, "Bro, we're having a Twitch after party after BlizzCon. Do you want to come through? It's at the Fire and Ice uh, bar. I still remember that Fire and Ice bar. And um, we, I am like, oh fuck yeah, of oh, hell yeah, I want to go to the Fire and Ice bar and go to a cool exclusive Twitch after party. So I go to the Twitch after party. Again, I I remember I had to skateboard from here three miles because I couldn't afford parking. The parking was too expensive. So I skateboarded three miles to like, uh, I think it was a Walmart where you could just park in the parking lot. <laughs> and that's where I left my car. And there was a Taco Bell right next to it. And I remember I got fucking two double-decker tacos and that was my fucking meal. So I got that and then I got in my Ford Focus and I drove and I went to the fucking bar. And... um. I get to the bar, I meet up with my boss, my future boss. He's showing me around, introduced me to people. It's fucking going great. I'm like, yes, this is fucking crushing. He's like, all right, man, I gotta talk to other people. Like, you know, say hi. Cause I don't wanna be a clinger. You know, I'm not, I wanna, I'm, I don't wanna be like glomming onto this guy the whole party. So he's like, yeah, I'm gonna go check out the bill. What's up? He introduces me offhandedly to a guy named Fatality, who Zoomers don't fucking know. And even I shouldn't have known at the time but is the original pro gamer. He's the first. He's the OG, like the first guy to ever do it. Um, he's like the, he won like Quake and shit and then made a bunch of money selling Fatality branded uh, nice headsets and uh, fucking motherboards. <laughs> like this is how he made money. He made a, he made a fuck ton of money off this uh, branded. Anyway, I met Fatality at this party and he ends up being literally the nicest dude in the world because I am fucking nobody. I have, you know, 240 Twitter followers. I got uh, no real job. <laughs> like, and he's like, bro, let me get you a drink. And he's talking and he's, he's like asking me about my, my fucking shit. And he's like, oh, you ready for Team Liquid? That's fucking cool. Esports journalism is sick. <laughs> and it's like, no, it's not. No, it's fucking not. But he's saying it is. He's gassing me up. He's making me feel good. He waits in this long ass line with me. We get a drink. Um, fatality is fucking amazing. Anyway, now we get to the story. Sorry for all the buildup, but that's like how I got here. All right. Um, and we're in this long, long line to get drinks at the Twitch party. And in front of me in line, I see Raynod, who at the time is like, this is BlizzCon after Hearthstone released. Um, Twitch is just blowing up, all right? He's he's a big deal. Like, he's crushing it. He's one of the biggest on Twitch. Uh, Hearthstone's out. He's doing a job. I think he was on stage for Hearthstone or whatever. Uh, I see Raynod. He doesn't know me. I just know of him from the stuff. I see Raynod. <laughs> Again, I think I would tell this story differently now, but I'm telling it like I've told it when I was a young man, okay? When I was a 21 year old dude. I just want you to understand, okay? A 20 year old dude, just, actually I was, I was probably 20 at the time, getting into the business, okay? I see Raynod and he is with, again, one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen in my life. One of the people, like a 10 out of 10, 
you know, a really attractive woman. He's like, like a model, okay? Raynaud is talking with a model in line at this, this drink thing, okay? <laughs> I see Raynaud say something funny. They both laugh. He like taps her on the shoulder and then they just leave. They leave the party together. And I'm like, damn, Raynaud's got game like that? <laughs> Raynaud's got game like that. Okay, so I'm already, I'm like, I'm very impressed. Like, I'm like, whoa, you know, because I, again, I'm super degen league grinder, write about esports articles. I'm just like, damn, this guy's a gamer and he's like fucking making moves at a party like this. And so I'm like impressed, all right? And we're still going through the line. It's a very long line. I get my drink. Uh, I'm hanging out with Fatality. I'm talking. It's probably like, I don't know. An hour later in the party, maybe an hour and a half, I see Raynon come back into the party, go to a different girl, <laughs> also extremely attractive. Again, he returns to the party, goes to a different girl, he's talking to her, extremely attractive, does the same move. All I'm saying is... I saw him do the same thing. He tells some kind of joke. They both laugh. He taps her on the shoulder and they leave. And I saw, I saw him do it twice. I saw him do it twice. I don't know what happened. I don't know if there's any more to the story, but in my mind when I was 20, I was like, holy shit. This guy's in, he's the ultimate Rizzler. Um, and that's it. That's, it's, not, it's not a big story. It's not an expensive story, but me and Stan's told that, like, <laughs> we talked about that story for a long time because... I remember I called back to Stans because me and Stans used to like sit on Civ 6, Civ 5 in fucking team speak calls and just fucking chill while I'm unemployed and just talk during the day. And I told him this story and we would just laugh about it. I don't know what the joke was. I don't know what his uh, unspoken Riz was, but I did see Raynaud, to my knowledge, pick up two 10 out of 10 women in the same party on the same night with apparently the same joke. Um, yeah, team speak. I know, boomer. Uh, anyway, that's the that's the round story. That's what happened back then. Um, is going to gaming conventions a good way to connect or network with people? I don't know. Um, maybe. <laughs> I think it's a good way to have fun with your friends. I I, I don't know. Uh, I can't apply anything from my insane run of um weird situations and stories and luck that I can say is like learnable, repeatable method. But also I gotta say like a lot of things, the ways that like me going to a gaming convention and meeting people and, and networking happened because I had done a lot of things before. Like I was writing articles and I was making these videos from Machinima and I was, I, I ran the Collegiate League, um, the CSL, like all that stuff helped me have people to meet when I got there in person and then it helped. So I don't know that it would work. <laughs> Um. Mm. Would you ever go with Ari in the convention? Yeah, we're gonna do it this year. Ari, if you guys don't know, goes to a bunch of cosplay conventions every year, and she makes a different cosplay for each one. Sometimes multiples, and um, swags out and does cool stuff and tries to find more clients for cosplay design. It's pretty sick. It's her whole thing. I uh, super respect it, but I don't know a lot about it. Um, in terms of like, I don't know the characters and I don't know all that. And, but this year I'm gonna go. I really wanna go, cause it seems so cool. And so I'm gonna cosplay. I don't know exactly as what yet. And we're gonna do a duo cosplay and go to one of these events. We're gonna go to like Dragon Con or something. Um, so it should be cool. Very excited. Mm. <laughs> Uh, plans for part two? Yeah, we're gonna have Rachel and Blur back on the stream after I get back from Copenhagen. Going to Copenhagen with Aiden next week. Uh, I'll be gone for like a week. Gonna try to stream from there with the backpack. But uh, once I'm back, I'm gonna try to do. Uh, uh, they have. They have both told me they have many more stories. Many more stories. We didn't get to any of the, the really juicy ones. So, uh, should be fun. We'll do another one. Um, when's the next press the button stream? 
I don't know. It's not really a series. <laughs> press the button is just something I do when we're fucking sitting around and I open up the press. It's, I don't, I've never pre-planned it. I've never pre-planned it. It was fun. It was good. Uh, I don't want to run it, but I do want to do connections. New York Times connections. Let's jump into it. We are on a streak here. Uh, yet, if you don't mind putting this in emote only mode, I don't need to get any cheating from chat. Unless I do, and at which point I will ask them to give me an emote. <laughs> Let's see what the connections are. Create four groups of four. Okay. If you don't know, I have to find common themes in four words to create four groups of four in connections. Now, if you don't know, I am an absolute master at this. Never, ever, ever encountered any difficulty. Four groups of four. Hmm. Shadow. Maybe it's hedgehogs. I don't see any other hedgehogs on here. Probably not that. Shadow. Things that follow behind you. Mm, nope. 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 Um, shuffle it a little bit till I see something. Track. All right. Track. Find. Tail. Shadow. Track. Find. Tail. And shadow are all ways to like um, track something <laughs> or hunt something. You're following, you're shadowing. Uh, maybe maybe find is different. Could be chase. Track, chase, shadow, tail. I think that's it. And it fucking was. Pursue! Pursue! It's that easy. All right. Wait. Good start. Let's continue. Visa, credit. Okay. Banking things. Banking things. Discover. Oh, these are credit, credit cards, credit cards. Discover, Visa. Um, hmm. Discover, Visa, credit, learn, realize, name. No, none of those, none of those. Give me my um, Mozart. Give me that Mozart. Glory. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Discover Visa credit. All right, what about praise props? Those make sense. Those track things you do to your streamer um, when they do a good job on connections. You praise them. You give them props. You give them credit. You give them glory. Okay, okay, all right. Thank you for the glory. Wait a minute, this can be my best one yet. All right, focus. Mozart, you're not actually helping. You're not actually helping. Stamp. 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 Photo. Visa. Name. Discover. Learn. Realize. Find. Clutched! Speed run! 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 Kaboom, baby! All right! That was kind of an easy one, I'll be honest with you. Kind of an easier one than usual because um, there wasn't any like really tricky double meanings. But um, still, we're gaming. We are gaming. Um... Seen in a passport. Seen in a passport is very on the nose. Uh, cool. Great. Fun. Awesome. Thank you for that, Mozart. Now what about a much more difficult game for real uh, game savants? Time Guesser. Time Guesser Daily. Press the button. No, Time Guesser. All right. We find ourselves in a black and white era. Crawfords, Cadbury, Round Trees. I'm getting a very London. Oh, wait. Los Angeles Portrait Studios. This is LA? This is LA? 
Doesn't it feel very London with like this copper? And I guess it has to be LA. Wait, no. Wait a minute. This is this is London. <laughs> this is London. You guys just fucking yoinked. What? <laughs> I see. You're just using LA as like a oh fancy. You can get your portrait taken like they do in LA. I see. You baited me, London. Well, it won't work because I can tell by your people. <laughs> this face is not happy enough to be in LA. Okay, this guy. No, no. Too many chavs. Too many chavs. Stuart Little? <laughs> Dude, look at this. It's British Stuart Little. Holy shit. Um, well, not the mouse. The kid from Stuart Little, obviously. The kid's name wasn't Stuart Little. I, I will admit that. Um, all right. And this is considered the luxury service. Crowded in 50 people into this tiny bus is the luxury service. All right. Uh, I am putting this in London. This is jolly old London for sure. I mean, I guess it could be Edinburgh. But it just feels London. So let's put it in London and let's put it in... Um, let's put this in the 20s. Right? I mean, you see the hats. You see the shoes. Even the kids are dressed up. Maybe it's the 30s. Let's do 33. 34 in Edinburgh! Fuck! Oh, London! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Not bad. Actually, 8.9K is not bad because the year was so good. Thank God. Um, how would I tell? How would I honestly tell that this was Edinburgh and not London? I just feel like it It looks like a... In my mind, every city in England that's not London is like four huts with chabs around it holding knives. <laughs> like, I, I, I can't picture it as an actual city with buildings and... Uh, towers and shit, but all right. Um, okay, 8.9K still keeps us in the game. Next up, we have another black and white photo featuring a happy, jolly man on a bike. Uh, we have some Arabic writing. We have this dude being like pissed off because he's wearing all these clothes and it's probably a hot day. I'm sensing some sort of colonial influence. This guy looks like he's got British um, something going on. And it's Middle East. United Nations. Um, okay. Some kind of Middle East colonial. I mean, this could actually be like Israel, right? Couldn't this be or like, or like around there? What was the area that? the British controlled after World War One. I. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Could this even be Egypt? I don't know. This is kind of tough. I won't say that I could nail this. Um, I'm, from the way this is all built, I'm sensing like some sort of beach maybe. I'm sensing like it's by the water, like it builds up off of the, for maximum ocean view. So I'm, I'm, man, it wouldn't shock me um, if this was like pre, I don't know. I don't know, like 20s or 30s Israel? Is that, is that so crazy? I don't know. Jordan, oh, Jordan? Maybe it's in Jordan. Where's jo Oh, it's Jordan. Um, Jordan. But then it doesn't it doesn't fit with my theory of the water, unless it's on this water. 
Hmm. Hmm. Damn, I don't know. Could this be like fucking Jerusalem? Jerusalem in the 30s. Maybe even the 20s. How old does this look? I think the 20s are too early for this kind of bike. 37 Jerusalem. Damn! Damn, bro! Damn! Damn, damn, damn! Not bad. I worked my way there, though. I worked my way from very far to not so far. The years. The years, the years, the years. I feel like this vehicle should give away that it's closer to the 50s. I think this vehicle just doesn't, doesn't say 30s at all. Nor the clothes. But I, I, I am proud of myself for not being completely out to sea on this. We got there. We got closer. Um... Uh, Amon. Amon? I mean, again, location-wise, I barely lost points. It was just the year. I really fucked up on the year. Ah, anyway. All right, not bad. Next round. Ooh! She is serving. Um, And in New York, no less, right? I mean, it's a classic New York cab. It says Taxi 97. Is the year 97? I don't know. Um, I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> I'm just going to go with New York in 1997, right? We'll go Manhattan. Um, where's fucking... Where's Manhattan? Right here. Manhattan? 1997... Uh, what about this would ever get me wrong? Taxi 97. Yeah, fuck it. 60s. Wow, I was, oh my God, dude. I was literally down the street. Oh, fuck. I clicked such a perfect spot. But I, the 60s, how do I... I guess the cab is just too old. Ah, the cab is just too old. The thing is, I can't tell by the dress. Like the style, someone could wear that in New York. They could be fucking maybe a fashion shoot. There's not, I'm a, like to get the year right on that is like I have to know the car, which is tough. All right, well, thankfully I was very, very close on location so it doesn't fully disqualify me. 5,000 points is the kind of the baseline, I think. Um, but being, you know, under a thousand meters is pretty sick. Okay. We need to get a good one. We need to, we need a slam dunk. This is the Haven Polity one. Um, is that, is that Polish? I'm definitely getting, I mean, it's giving Europe. <laughs> Uh, uh, also possibly blackface. <laughs> Is that what I'm seeing? Is this Justin Trudeau's birthday party? <laughs> Is this Trudeau? Oh my God, dude, you dog. Uh, is that, am I seeing blackface? I don't know what this is. This feels like... Uh, I'm getting like an Eastern Europe vibe, like a, like a, I'm getting like a Poland, all right, from this. It also has a, is there like Poland on an ocean? Could be here maybe. Um... I don't know, like, what body of water. Could be here. <laughs> uh, I mean, this could be a lake. I, there's no way I'm supposed to know. I don't know. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. I don't feel like I'm picking up on the clues here. 
hover over me. I mean, this looks like German. I get it. My German's not good enough to know, but this could be Germany. This gives a Germany vibe. It could be the German-Polish border. I mean, that's what makes me think it's like right here. I don't know. Fuck it. We'll go right here and we'll go uh, again. This is a long time ago. I'm assuming by the blackface. It's probably the fucking 50s. Maybe earlier 40s. I don't, I'm, I'm concerned with World War Two. Is it pre World War Two? Damn, this is a this is a tricky, sticky thicket. I don't know, bro. Um, let's do 40, 48. I don't know. Ah, this looks bad. Fuck it. Forty six in Amsterdam. Not bad at all. Wow, not bad at all. It was. Uh, they were Dutch. They were Dutch. Ah, the damn Dutch. Not bad at all, though. 8.6K. Okay. Uh, cool. Other side of Germany. Other side. Ah, I think it was German adjacent, but didn't feel like Germany. Wow. Netherlands, huh? A lot of blackface. Not so long ago. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Um, not bad. If we get a real clutch here. Okay, I'm seeing. I'm already seeing China. Construction. I'm thinking about the boom years. Uh, is that Japan or is that China? Damn, I've... In my mind, this is China. But... But that... Something about that looks Japanese to me. Am I crazy? I feel like that looks Chinese and that looks Japanese. <laughs> Which goes to show that I'm not discerning. Also, exclamation point... Could this be Japan? Could this be Japan? I'm gonna call in. Damn, I get I get such a China vibe. Ooh, this is tough for me. Cause this could be like. I don't know. I mean, if it's Japan, I have a much better shot of getting it right. If it's China, it could be anywhere. I, I, I couldn't. China is so big and so much building, and there. Uh, well, how the fuck am I ever going to discern this if it's China? I, I got, babe, Ari, wife call, wife call. Hey, babe, I need a question for you. Oh God, what? Is this Japan or yeah. China? That's Japan. What does it say? Is that Niga? Oh. Uh, this is Fukushima. This says Nig something. It's Fukushima. It's the rebuilding of the nuclear power plant after oh, yeah, destruction. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good thing. Oh, right? I want to clap at that. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you're saying building a, a new power plant is not a good thing? No, I'm saying this is a big disaster in Japanese history, as you well know. And I'm trying to guess what time and place it was. Oh, okay. I thought this was like a recent development. <laughs> <laughs> They're just now getting around to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're building a new power plant. Uh, where is Fukushima in Japan? Would you be able it's to like pinpoint there, it? Right there. Right there. It's a prefecture. Down. Hey, stop zooming in. Fukushima. Right there. Right there. The city, and then there's the whole prefecture. But where's the plant? I don't know where the plant is. Well, it got hit by a tsunami, so it's got to be over by the ocean. Yeah, that's what I, Yeah. Oh, you think it's on here? Well, I'm not asking you. You're not going to know. But Is this like GeoGuessr? Oh, it's Time? It's Time That's Guesser. Lame. What's lame about it? It's really cool, actually. Because that makes it way harder, doesn't it? Yeah, it's way harder. But it takes raw skill. Like having a wife that speaks Japanese. Well, I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> well, you can translate that. I can read And some he told characters. me it was Fukushima, which yeah. actually slam dunked it for me. I just don't know where Fukushima is. Maybe I, could, I can't. I don't know what the first part is, though. Look at that. Oh, power plant. The Soma Kyoto 
This has got to be near Why it. Why don't right? you just say 2011 or 2012? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh. <laughs> I actually know exactly the year because I had a big debate with Germans recently about nuclear power. Well, you have to guess the location and the year? Yeah, the closer That's I am to the location, 40. the better. I don't know where the plant is, but I think it's pretty northeast and obviously on the border. I'm just going to do this. It's not the same power oh, sorry, plant, on the ocean. but it's going to be close enough. Well, you just want to make sure you're still in the prefecture, you know? Am I? Keep going. That's the prefecture. Fukushima, right there. Okay. Oh, maybe. Is that... What's prefecture? Wait, is, is Fukushima there? like literally the... Oh, that's a train line. I thought it was a border. Fukushima. Yeah, because I don't know if like they refer to the prefecture or the city, right? Bro, I'm clutching it. 2011. Make guess. 2013. It took that long to fill to fix oh, it. Oh, you're pretty close though. Uh, 95k. No, 9.5k. <laughs> Out of 10, which uh, puts me in a final score of. My new record. Nice. My new record, babe. Thank you for your help. Thank you for the assist. Okay, Homer. Um, that's Oof. it. Thanks. Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> Joeler. That's a wife diff, dude. 38.6K. Wife carried score invalid. Forever alone chatter. Your criticism invalid. <laughs> the 25 cents on the taxi should, yeah that is true the taxi was so cheap that should have given it away um the Sinterklaas lore is that the Dutch Santa enslaves the devil for a night to help him deliver presents. The devil is Moorish and portrayed by Dutch people wearing blackface. They still do this. It's only finally getting unpopular in the last three years. <laughs> so in 2020, they were still doing blackface where Satan enslaves the devil. Um, that's wild. That's wild. I'm sorry. What's that? Santa. Satan and Santa. Oh, wait a minute. They're so similar. Satan, Santa. Conspiracy? I need to have the X-Files on my button. <laughs> Oh, um, that's why, um, you know, there's the war on Christmas. One year he, <laughs> one year he gave me Monopoly. <laughs> he was sending you a message. By the way, I fucking hate Monopoly. What a dog shit game. God, it's so unfun. Monopoly would be better if um, if you're poor and you land on someone's hotel, you have to work there. <laughs> like you have to like clean their room or something um, and act it out and then make a minimum wage and they pay you out of the game bucks. Uh Monopoly is fun if no one can throw a fit and end the game. Do you... <laughs> I've never seen a message more dedicated to attacking the symptom and not the problem. <laughs> if somebody is throwing a fit and end the game, they've already gotten to the point where they're not having fun. The fact that you can ban their ability to flip the game over doesn't mean they're suddenly having fun. It means they're having to bottle it up. You are, you are attacking the symptom. The game is not fun. Monopoly is not for the weak-willed. No, it is for the weak-minded, bro. It's such a simple, basic RNG game. Um, it's not... It's just, there's a better game. I mean, there's... 
we've we've been through like a decade plus of the board game renaissance. <laughs> Nobody should be playing Parker Brothers anything. If you're still playing Parker Brothers games, I don't know what to tell you. There's no reason. We, we, there's 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 we've had an absolute fucking flourishing of amazing board games for 10 years now of all skill levels, not even like complicated ones that are fun. Like if you want a real fucking, if you want to really play a fucking game about monopolizing, about business strategy, if you want to go toe to toe with some fucking gangsters, play fucking Brass Birmingham, dude. Play like those complicated European train games. And if you want to play a fun game with family where you'd have a little bit of, you know, economics, play Catan. Um, but don't play Monopoly. Um, Scythe, that's a great game. Play uh, Terraforming Mars. That's a fucking game. You'll think economically after that. Bro, me and uh, me, Jaywitz, and Stans used to play Terraforming Mars money matches and just get heated. Because <laughs> the thing about a three-person deep business strategy game is that if one person makes a mistake in a deal with someone else, it fucks over the third person really hard. So we would constantly be watching each other's deals like a hawk. No, 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 no. That's not fair. You have to charge him more. Like, we would always be... We'd have to, you have to, you know, you have to really be fucking, um, um, diplomacy clears all. If you really want to yell at your friends, diplomacy does clear all, I guess. I tried to make my family play Magic the Gathering, but it was too hard for them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, Magic, you have to want to play it. Um, don't try to fucking throw Grandma Susie into the fucking Magic the Gathering arena, dude. Why? They're not going to do it. I also just think in general, um, people are not good vibe checkers when it comes to board games in that some of you do this, which is you have a board game or a card game that you really like and you are relatively good at and you just try to get people to play with you and then you beat them at it. <laughs> And it's like for 99% of people, that's such a disaster. You just shouldn't, that's not a good, it's not a good thing to do. Um, you need to understand that like you are, that is not what I do. I do the opposite. What I do is I find something they're good at and try to beat them at it. <laughs> that's different. I try to prove to them that they weren't even good at the thing they thought they were good at, which is again, also bad, but a different thing. I don't do that. I never, I would never pull out a game that I'm good at and try to get someone to play it. Um, do, 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 do. Hey, big man, how instead of play nerd games, we play a real man's movie like Dune? What is that? You're not, what is that? Is Dorito Chip Dune? I can't follow your, it's not a game. Um, So you can only sandbag when you show something, Sag. Yeah, uh, not even sandbag. You should you should almost not even play. <laughs> you should try to get two beginners to play, teach them the rules, help them out. Just here's the thing: if you are trying to introduce a game to friends, you need to understand that no part of this should ever be good for your ego. None of it. If any of it looks like you are trying to prove that you're good at it or smart at it or anything, then you made a mistake. You need to realize that you're doing it for you and not for them. So you gotta be careful. And if you think that through, um, then you'll end up having a lot of people that like your games. Um, you will get a lot more people into it. Um, Wingspan, Wingspan's a great game. I love Wingspan because I like board games and Ari likes birds. <laughs> She likes board games too, but like I really like the strategy and rules and she loves fucking birds, not having sex with them, but like knowledge of them. And so it's a it's like one of the best games for us. Um No, I I <laughs> 
she doesn't like having sex with birds. No one thought that? Oh, you think? Are you sure? So no one was going to type question mark, huh? Nobody was going to do that if I didn't say anything. Nobody, if I didn't clarify, nobody was going to type question mark, huh? Really? And all my experience with Twitch chat is completely wrong. And I had no... Yeah, okay. Sure. 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 Fine. Sure. Um... <laughs> What time is it? 9.05. I need to make sure I time this with... Uh... Where am I? Where's Aspectacore? Yo. I need to make sure that I'm timing this. Uh... I... have to blow my nose. Okay, now I think it is time to watch an interesting video for Get Smarter Saturdays. We may take a break after that to play Hitman with a Spectacle. But until then, we gotta get some we gotta get more intelligent. Uh I feel like there's been so many good videos coming out on YouTube that we can actually learn from that it'd be a waste to not do it. So um I need to go to Gliz tube and clear videos. And if you paste the video in chat, it will add uh, here. And we can pick one and learn something. The rules of Get Smarter Saturday, if you're new here, are very simple. Um, the video can't be too long. The video can't be too boring. And by the end of it, all of us, myself and chat, have to have learned at least one thing. Uh, we have to have learned something. That way we slowly but surely get smarter every Saturday by finding the best of YouTube and good new YouTubers to watch. Brother man, we can get smarter by watching hours of Shirku. <laughs> uh, why China's economy is finally slowing down. Window Productions. This is... When did this come out? When did this come out? Before it's economic. Before. Two days ago? Bro. I covered this earlier. Um. Uh, the story of Arlen Ash. Arslan Ash. How do I say his name? This is the guy from Pakistan who's like the goat. This could be interesting. Uh, it was a very interesting story. Um, why Nike paid, what is it, a billion dollars for this? The three types of detective game could be interesting. We haven't done a game maker's toolkit in a while. Um, 
Addressing the allegations that I'm bald. <laughs> I don't want to watch that. Uh, I could do this. It has a 3x coffee cow bonus. This could be... Let's try it. I want to... We'll do a video game before we get into all the business stuff. Way, way back in 2017, I made a video that essentially asked, where are all the good detective games? I mean, sure, there are plenty of fun games where you play as a detective, like The Wolf Among Us and Sherlock Holmes. But in terms of the game mechanics, they never actually made me feel like I was doing any real detective work. Sure. For that, I had to dig much deeper. I'm talking about ancient PC artifacts and obscure indie titles and unfinished itch.io demos and bizarre FMV games. I, I should give him time to, to discuss this because he'll probably bring it up, but there was a game called um, this game that apparently it's called The Case of the Golden Idol and I bought it for myself. I didn't think I would ever play it on stream, but I haven't played it yet. And apparently this game is like a true detective game. Like you truly got to put this shit together. You got to find clues. You got to interrogate people. It's not easy. You can get it wrong. Uh, apparently it's like a fucking good ass game. I was very swayed by a review that I read and I decided to buy it. I've not played it yet. Uh, I was thinking of maybe doing it entirely off stream recording the whole thing and uploading a full playthrough because it feels like it's just going to be so miserable live <laughs> i can just feel the dread of trying to play this live uh chat will be either bored or annoyed and constantly backseating uh i will get very annoyed so i think i may just do a playthrough talking to myself offline but I do want to play it. It looks really fun. And that's what I'm thinking of when I hear about this. Because it looked like an actual... Again, I think... He's probably going to talk about it. But, like... I assume from a game dev POV, making a true detective game is pretty hard. Because the average player is not a detective. <laughs> so, like, they don't want to do the things a real detective would do. Uh, the, you know, the rigor and the logic and all the things that were are, aren't there. The player's not going to do it. So... It's why, like, Batman in Arkham has to have, like, see-through vision and everything. Because players won't pick it up. <laughs> but a lot can change in five years. Because since that video came out, we've seen an explosion of new detective games. At least one of them made in direct response to that original video. Ah, shit. These new games have given me... <laughs> That's definitely the game I was just talking about. <laughs> That's definitely the game I was just talking about. Be a whole new fine. perspective on this design fine. challenge, and they've made it's my fine. old video pretty much completely outdated. So it's time Probably to do something I've never seconds. done on GMTK before. A sequel, a follow-up, a redo, ah, whatever you want to call it. I'm Mark Brown, this is Game Makers Talk It, and here's how to make a good detective game. So, I played a bunch of detective games for this video. Cool. Everything from Disco Elysium to Judgment, and from Frog Detective to The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> All wonderful games, to be sure, but I was hunting for games that truly made me feel like a detective. And in my search, I realized that those titles fit into three different categories. Okay. I'm going to call them deduction-style games, contradiction-style games, and investigation-style games. Let's start with deduction-style games, and the ultimate example for this type of game is Return of the Obra Dinn, oh. Lucas Pope's one-bit murder mystery masterpiece. Is this going to spoil the game for me? Because I already, people have told me to play this forever, and I wasn't super interested because of the way it looks. The second you tell me it's a detective game with deduction, I'm already more interested. <laughs> I'm already more interested. Like, you guys have tried to convince me forever, and you've done such a piss-poor job of it, and this guy in one second convinced me by saying it's detective. Detective! Just say that! That sounds fucking sick! I get to fucking solve a crime? Okay, so in this game, we're on board a 19th century merchant vessel, where all 60 passengers are dead or otherwise missing. As an insurance inspector, our job is to fill out a logbook by jotting down everyone's final fate. 
and to. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to play as an insurance inspector. <laughs> Every kid's dream, you know? Every kid's dream when they want to grow up and uh, live a fantasy world in a video game is to be a merchant insurance inspector. To help with this, For we the can British. use a magic timepiece <laughs> to transport ourselves to a freeze frame vignette showing the exact moment of each person's death. Oh. Captain, open the door! From here, we can gather clues and information, including those final words of dialogue and the accent they're spoken in, the location of each character, the outfits they're wearing, the objects they're holding, and so on. And we can then use these clues to answer the questions in the logbook. So we now know that this guy was shot by the captain. But who is he? Ah, well, you see, the clues alone won't always provide the answers we need. In fact, nowhere on the ship will we be directly told this person's name. So instead, we'll have to deduce his identity by cleverly interpreting the other facts and clues. Okay. For this one, we will later hear the captain's last words, admitting that he shot Abigail's brother. From the crew role, we know that Abigail's maiden name is Hoskut, oh and that there's God. a man on board with the surname Bit of a spoiler, because I'm going to remember this solution. <laughs> Hoskut, which means William Hoskut is almost certainly Abigail's brother, and our mystery man getting a face full of buckshot. Bingo. Obradin is not the only game that fits into this style, of course. There's also Case of the Golden Idol. Okay. Here, we also explore dioramas from the moment of some poor sap's death. We can read notes, rifle through people's pockets, and bounce between different rooms before filling out these scrolls which detail the events of the murder. And in the upcoming Scene Investigators currently available. The reason I was interested in it too is like, even though I don't really like art styles like this, it reminded me of like old school Monkey Island games and shit that I would play when I was a kid. So I got, I don't know, I'm, I think I'm just gonna play it one day. Different uh, rooms totally before offline. filling out these scrolls which detail the events of the murder. And in the upcoming Scene Investigators, currently available in demo form, we're let loose on a 3D crime scene. After rooting through this apartment, we have to figure out the answers to five questions about the murder and type oh, them into the laptop. Cool. Plus, the game doesn't actually have to involve... Wait, that could be fun for stream. Because it's a little more... This looks kind of good. Can I do one right now? <laughs> Can I solve one mystery right now? <laughs> Not a lot easier. It looks like it's 3D and like easier, like less dialogue. Um, scene investigators. Fuck it. Fuck it. A hardcore detective reasoning game for fans of the true crime genre. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting, actually. All right, we'll watch the video while this downloads. I think it's got to take a second. Are you telling me I can't solve a fucking puzzle about the scene? I want to know exactly who the murderer is off the bat. I have like a Sherlock Holmesian eye for this stuff. Um, here's what I do. First thing I do is I arrive, I find out who owns the apartment, okay? Then I determine all the suspects who are related to it. Then I just, I rank them all by wokeness. <laughs> then whichever one is the most woke, I plant drugs, okay? And then I blame them. That's how I get the job done. That's how I get promoted. That's how I move up the ladder, okay? That's how I make... It's just that simple. All right, if you can't understand it. Uh, Holmesian. <laughs> Holmesian. That's my cop. Uh... All right, actually, it might already be downloaded. Let's see. Do 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 do. Right, I'm gonna do one puzzle. That's it. 
I'm gonna solve whatever the intro is. Hey, Atriok, if you're really a detective style games, you might like this underground game called Among Us. You try to find a killer. Wow, that sounds awesome. I just hope nobody in it is sussy or I'll be too scared. You won't believe this. <laughs> you're not you're not going to believe this. Uh just really don't want anybody to be sussy. That's the problem. That's the fear. Man, I can't believe you guys tried to take my fucking Grandmaster TFT away from me. I can't believe you didn't believe me. Oh, I'm so vindicated that it fucking scrolling down showed it. Uh, hey, Shrek, got a marketing job because of you, so thanks, man. Fuck yeah, dude, congrats. It's actually very, very tough to get entry-level marketing right now. Um, I saw that thing from... Was it Business Insider? I was talking about how like so many marketing grads are not uh, able to get a job in their field. Um, so, congrats. You do owe me half your salary, but like I won't um, collect till... You know, I'll give you a whole month, you know, to get your affairs in order. Um... The rest of, oh, not in Germany. Everyone is looking for marketing jobs here. Fucking the, I was going to say the nuclear plants should hire some marketers. <laughs> Try and win the public opinion back, but uh, there's none left. Uh, I had a friend in marketing. You don't have to work at a call center. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, why is it not opening the game? Scene investigators play. Okay. Play, 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 play. Brayden Carlisle is doing a close up magic show tomorrow. Chad, if you're not there, you're missing out. Congrats, Brayden. <laughs> Scene investigators. <laughs> Detective Atrioc on the case. Assisted mode. <laughs> Is it loud? Let me fix the uh let me fix the uh audio here. Detective mode engaged. Detective mode engaged. That's what it's saying. Uh da 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 <laughs> Scene investigators, an experience created for detective, true crime, and escape room fans. Wow. It is too Hello, loud. Agent. I am your personal assistant for this exam. Please enter your name. My name? You can call me Sure Cock Bones. <laughs> is this the name you want to call <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. A finer detective you never did meet. The one and only. Prior to the exam, here are some No backseating. First, observe each scene carefully. Right. Analyze everything on site and pay close attention to seemingly insignificant details. I'll miss nothing. Second. Not all interactable objects are important. Right. And not all that are not interactable are unimportant. Right. You have to decide which ones can help with the investigation. Third, when there aren't enough evidence present in the crime scene, 
You will need to trust your intuition. Aha! She's saying guess. <laughs> guess and blame when chat. When all else fails, don't give up. Take a break. Comb through the crime scene again and revisit the clues previously gathered with fresh eyes. Now that we've gone through them, let's do a preliminary trial, shall we? I don't need it. This has no bearings on your overall grade. It's to see if you've come to grasp with the fundamentals of the exam. If it doesn't matter for my grade, I'm not going to try. Understood. <laughs> Loading preliminary trial. Get me to the real... I want to solve murders, Payback. not tests. The police have arrested a man they suspect to be about to rob a bank. They confiscated items found in the van the man was standing by. The police were able to get the man to give up the names of his accomplices. It is suspected that the man and his... Can I pause right here? Sorry. No, I'll tell you after there's... Actually, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to pause. <laughs> I'm going to pause. First of all, this man's guilty. Throw him in jail for life. I figured it out. Um... I want to, you know how I told you guys about the jewel heist? Well, there's a, a very short heist story that I want to tell you. I'll tell you only the beginning. There is a guy who ended up being one of the greatest thieves in world history. But when he was a young Canadian boy, he got um, arrested for stealing from Radio Shack. Okay? He stole a bunch of things from Radio Shack, which cleaned it out. He was stealing from Radio Shack and then reselling it to other Radio Shacks. Okay? Stole. Um, this guy, they bust down his mom's front door. They come inside. They drag the kid out. Just this young Canadian kid. He's like probably 16, 17 maybe. They take him down to the station. They put him in the interrogation room. They ask him if he did it. He's like, no. <laughs> they leave him alone in there. The second they leave the room and close the door, he gets up on the table, <laughs> pushes out the roof, goes into the roof and hides, okay? Then puts the, uh, puts the tile back. So he's sitting in the roof and he can see through the little crack in the roof tile what's going on uh, down in the investigation room. And he sees the cops come back into the room, start freaking out, go, where is he? They start running around the office looking for him. They start sending out cars all around, you know, Manitoba or wherever he lives to try and find him, all right? They're hunting him down, trying to find him. They go back to the mom's house. They can't find him. Finally, the end of the night, they, um, <laughs> they're like, all right, we give up. We can't find him. We'll call it for the night. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll just, you know, everyone's getting tired. Let's end it. So they, they shut everything down. They close the thing. He's waiting the entire time. He's waiting in the roof. Finally, he gets down out of the roof, sneaks back down. He's now in the police station at night, closed. <laughs> he goes over to the desk of the guy that arrested him, steals the picture of his wife and kid off of the desk, steals his gun, steals, <laughs> steals his badge, steals all of this shit off his desk, Puts it in a duffel bag, takes one bullet out of his gun, puts a smiley face on it, and puts it on his desk. <laughs> uh, puts it on his desk, steals it all, walks out the fucking front door, escapes, is unable to be found for a little while, then eventually goes back to his fucking mom's house. <laughs> Where they they check again and they find him. Very stupid. They get him eventually. But that is like it, pretty incredible. I don't believe you. Do you want to make a bet? Real PS4 owner, would you like to make a bet? We will put a escrow bet with Yeti. $50. You send me send the money to Yeti. He will hold it as a third party. I'll put up $50. We will check if this is a true story that I can easily verify, and then once it's proven true, we have interviews with the cops, by the way, they were there, you can pay me the money. How about that? Uh, yeah, I'll bet your PS4. All right, back to this. Um, oh, I didn't read the rest. 
I didn't read the rest. Oh shit. I'm not gonna know anything about this fucking story. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's not good, dude. Wait, documents. Yeah, here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. It's suspected that the man and his accomplices might also be involved in the purse snatching of Helen Turner. Okay. They found a man about to rob a bank. He gave up the name of his accomplices. Him and his team were about to, they stole a purse from Helen Turner. All the police have are the items from the van, the criminal records, and the incident report. Can I answer these questions? Okay. The questions are, who was the getaway driver and who was involved in stealing the purse? Okay. Fuck it. Let's go. Give it to me. Flashlight, camera, blah, 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 blah. I'll figure that out on the fly. A real detective doesn't read the rules. He makes the rules. Let me out. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm in a dream. <laughs> Let me out! <laughs> Let me out of here! Oh, I'm getting claustrophobia. I'm in one small room. No, I'm not gonna do assisted mode, obviously. Okay? Uh, but I will for this one, just in case. <laughs> All right, let's see. So first thing we have is a premium brewed beer. Now you, this is their stuff. This is what's in their thing. They had a beer. They had 635, $40, okay. They have an old ass cobalt phone. Messages. Oh, here we go. Uh, 4.32 p.m. Are you sure we can trust this guy? He seems all over the place. Phone owner. I know you hate unpredictability, but we've already seen what he can do. I'm sure he'll be fine. Lorenzo vouched for him personally. He's just a temp anyway. Bah, I hate Lorenzo as well, but... Someone that has his respect must be at least somewhat capable. All right, I gave him three different voices, which is going to confuse me. <laughs> hey, do you have the time? I overheard something real interesting. 600 bucks cash. It'll be real quick and it's on the way. Okay, wait a minute. Boss told us not... Okay, 600 bucks. 600 bucks. 600 bucks. Um, 600 bucks. Now we don't have, we have more than 600 here. We have 640. Okay. $640. $640. So that means that must have been this. 10, 5, 9. So they get a text to do something on a certain date. Uh, okay, wait a minute. I see what's happening. I see what's happening. They're planning a bank robbery for the 5th. On the day of the 5th, this fuck says, hey, we can steal a purse on the way for 600 bucks cash. This guy's like, I don't know about this. Then we get here. And we find out that this new guy is probably the fucking, the guy that was a temp. Also, we know he smokes menthol sticks, hand-picked with fine tobacco. Perfect. Evidence. What else do we know? Chain of custody. Alan Jones must have been behind it. Why would he sign his name so... Lamely. <laughs> Unless he wanted to hide his true... I can't read this. What kind of fucking handwriting is this? I can't read this. It's unusable. Um... Oh. Newspaper, master plan, and split. What does that mean? Is it open? Okay. 
My master plan, Clover Bank monthly swap. Lorenzo will send all of us the exact date. Part one of swap. 315, 335, 20 minute window, every second counts. Getting, getting, getting out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, they're, all I need to know is who's the getaway driver, right? Split, 55% man with the plan, 15% helper, 25% getaway driver, 5% Lorenzo. This cracks the case, okay? The man with the plan is the guy not in text messages. 15% helper. Okay, so, so Lorenzo gets five. That means, that means these two are either the driver or the helper. The driver or the helper. Okay. The driver or the helper. Driver or the helper. All right. What do I know from this? What do I know from this? What do I know from Supreme Burgers? Tasty. Van location. Initial arrest. Clover Bank. So, put it all together. Wait. Helen Turner, where was she? Where was she snatched? Where's her purse snatched? Who do they, wait, who do they capture at the bank? That's the fucking question. That's the fucking question. Oh, I gotta read this, I gotta read this. Helen Turner, okay. Helen Turner reported by Officer Alan Jones. She's white, 5'5", 150, brown eyes, brown hair. Her email is HelenTurner67 at quickandfast.com. <laughs> okay. Just get a Gmail, Helen. Um, suspect is light skin with dark eyes. We don't know anything else. The date of theft is 3.10 p.m. at the corner of Harmonia Street and Xanadu Avenue. Harmonia, Harmonia, and Xanadu. Harmonia, and Xanadu. Harmonia, and Xanadu, right here. So that's where it happened as they were on the way here. Does that help me at all? Um, oh, what was in the purse? The purse had a phone with a mint green case. Uh, it had $40 cash. It had... Uh, a bunch of other crap that wasn't in there, right? None of... She wasn't smoking clovers, was she? <laughs> or Corhab cigarettes or Four Pine beer? No, she wasn't. So that doesn't help. Um, oh, this guy. Oh, look at this fuck. Frank Carter. Um, shoplifting, petty theft, con money, forgeries. He's 35, he's 5'6", okay. Chad Harris, he's 28. Oh, younger than you, 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 remember that? So the mastermind is probably, it can't be the oldest guy. The mastermind can't be the oldest guy. It's gotta be him or it's gotta be him. And what did he say in the text message? Go back to the clues. He said, he was stealing big time at just eight years old. 
So I go back to this. And what do I find? I find someone stealing at eight years old. This guy didn't steal until... No. He was born in the 80s. Didn't Doesn't make sense. This guy... It's too old. This guy... Didn't steal... In, no. Shit. <laughs> Damn, I thought I was onto something. I thought I was onto something. I thought I was actually fucking cooking. Wait, I thought I was cooking. Frank was born in the 70s, but his first arrest is until 92. Maybe eight years old's an example. Maybe that's an example. He did steal young. I mean, how old would he be at 92? Be eight, 18, maybe? Yeah, definitely young. He'd be 18. This guy didn't start stealing till 95, born in the 70s, so he would be 24. So that makes me think this guy is the helper. This guy is the master. No, this guy's the helper. This guy's the mastermind. And this guy is the driver. Because younger, he's younger than him. And he started young, relatively young. This guy didn't start till 19 for identity theft. Wasn't stealing though. Yeah, okay, perfect. So I, tr I got that, I got that. All right, let me see, what was this like? I was at home for pretty much the whole, I have to do her voice, <clears throat> Helen Turner. I was at home for pretty much the whole morning. I went to Wake Up Call Cafe, just to meet up with my friend around 2 p.m. Nothing of note happened. I just told my friend the news that announced the winning numbers of a lottery I played and had won some money. I was gonna cash it in today. We made some plans to meet up again to celebrate. I left the cafe about 45 minutes later. I headed towards card convenience. That was around the time I got knocked over by a man coming up behind me. Next thing I knew, I was watching him turn around the left corner with my purse in his hands. He was a bit taller than me and had dark hair and light skin. How tall is she? She's 5'5". Five five. A bit taller. A bit taller, huh? They're all a bit taller. But... They all have light skin. And they all have dark hair. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. 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 <laughs> that doesn't help me at all. Um. Shit. Shit. Bit taller than me. Well, five six, five seven. Five seven, maybe a little bit more than a bit. Five six is a bit. Um. That doesn't super help me though. Damn it, I think I was cooking for a second. All right. So, so, I, I should have everything, I every, everything should be solvable now. So Lorenzo sends us the date. Okay. This is Lorenzo. Three, four, eight, five, six, seven. That's Lorenzo. This is at 2.20, do you have time? This guy overhears her talking about the lottery ticket. This guy says, boss, don't use that number. Isn't he younger than you? Um, send me just another phone upside down, okay. Okay, okay. So I, I think I'm pretty clear here. I'm pretty clear here. This guy, age 35, is the boss. This guy is the guy being texted who owns the phone. And this guy is Chad Harris, the driver. Mm. What else do I need to know? What is the question I'm trying to answer? 
Who's the driver? Who was involved in stealing the purse? I see. I see. So the real question becomes, did they split the money? Did they split the money? We can split it 50-50. Did they split the money of stealing the purse? My answer, I'm gonna say no. Here's why. Helen describes getting robbed by one person. One man a little bit taller than her. This guy didn't even seem that interested. And this guy's the 38 year old guy. So I think only one man robbed Helen's purse. And that would be Chad Harris. Chad Harris robbed the purse after not getting a response from Anthony Young. <laughs> That's all so simple. Why? He didn't split the money. He's holding $600 plus 40 petty cash from her purse. 600 from the lottery ticket, 40 from the purse. And he's standing by the van, so he's the driver. I think I've solved it. Fuck it. A true detective trusts his instincts. Who's the getaway driver? Chad Harris. Who was involved in stealing the purse? Chad Harris. Let me check one more time. Let me, check, let me really understand this. 348 567. That's Lorenzo. Mm. This guy is a different number. This must be the boss. This is the boss. Yeah, this is fine. I think I'm right. Only thing I would say... Why would he need his help? That's the last thing I need to check. Um, it's on the way. Only thing is... He turned around the left corner with my purse in his hands. I was headed towards cart convenience. Wait a minute. She left the cafe and headed towards cart convenience. He grabbed it and went around the left corner. Wouldn't he have had to cash the check here? How does this help me? <laughs> How does this help me? He grabbed her purse and went around the left corner. Dump. Dump. Probably to turn it into car convenience to get the fucking lottery money. From there, he would have had to get to the van. Maybe the guy picked him up. What does the ATM have to do with anything? That's my question. Did he stop by the ATM? No. He didn't. Be in position to change charts. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. One more thing. One more thing. Lottery. She matched four numbers. She got 600 bucks. I'm not going to read this whole fucking thing. <laughs> I'm not going to read this whole thing to find there's one fucking clue about... No, this is stupid. This is stupid. I'm not gonna... Wait. No, dude. Victoria Wells murder? How does that have to do with anything? The Holloway haunted house? Are you telling me this is relevant? No. 
This is crap. Local family store goes out of business. Hardison Groceries went out of business. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's not... It's not a real store. <laughs> it's a video game. <laughs> what do I... What do I... Um, I can't control F. It doesn't... Pyramid Scheme Exposed. Holy shit. Um... This doesn't seem at all helpful. Okay. I think that I have enough clues to go with it. I'm trusting myself. Chat Harris, Chat Harris. Retry, 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 retry. Don't tell me the answer. Does that, you know, what do they know? Maybe I cracked the case. Sometimes the fucking police get it wrong. And a cold case gets solved by a smarter detective later on. Do you understand? Maybe I solved it and it, maybe it was Chad Harris. Dude, okay, let me re-examine the fucking clues. The getaway driver is not Chad Harris. Well, that's fucked. Is Chad Harris the fucking mastermind? I mean, I guess he has done bank robbery before. Released in 09 for good behavior. Chad Harris. Is he the mastermind? This doesn't really make sense. Like, this guy clearly petty theft when he was young. But he's never done a bank before. All right, fuck it. Chad Harris is clearly the mastermind. He's targeted banks and done 10 years. He's the mastermind. Even if he's young. Dude, wait a minute. He's 28 years old? But he did a 10 year bid in 06? <laughs> how, wait, how does this track? <laughs> Oh, release it on nine for good behavior. I see. He only did three years. He did three years. Okay, I did it. Okay, the year is 2010. He did three years. I see. 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 Okay. Okay. Maybe you're the mastermind. You are a guy who's conned money from women. Stole from the elderly? This guy's got no problem fucking stealing a purse. This guy, Anthony Young. Not so young are you, because you're 38, which isn't that old, really. <laughs> like, if you were six years off of that, you would be practically a baby at that point. Um, Anthony Young is um, our villain. He's our getaway driver. And he is the one who snatched the purse. That all makes sense. Now, what other clue would I need? Mm. It's 
25% getaway driver, 5% for Lorenzo. It's really, it's down to the age thing. The oldest man cannot be the mastermind. So it's Anthony Young or it is Carter Frank. Okay, I've decided. Chad Harris, you are the mastermind. Anthony Young, you are our guy. I now have the answer. I will say Anthony Young. Anthony Young. Maybe he was helped by the other guy. But they didn't split the money. They didn't split the money. They didn't split the money. So they couldn't have helped. So it's nobody. It's just Anthony Young. Without further ado, I think I've solved it. Uh-huh. A true detective always uses the trial questions to deduce the answer. Obviously, at this point, the only possible person it could be with my genius deduction is Frank Carter. <laughs> we got you now, Frank. Frank Carter. <laughs> I knew you were guilty from the jump. You hid behind your accomplices, but you couldn't hide from me. The piercing eyes of Shercock Bones. <laughs> oh, God damn it. That's a pass! We passed! We passed! We're now on the street as a cop. Let me give you results. No, let me do it again. Let me do it again. Just call it a day. Understood. Recording your progress. No, no, no. Let me do that. <laughs> let me do it again. Recording complete. See you soon. Goodbye. <laughs> let me do it again. Start. <laughs> Shercock Bones. Welcome back. You will be presented with the selection window during the exam. To pass the exam, you are required to solve all case files. Uh huh. A grade will be given for each attempted case. Yeah, file. yeah. You are free to retry them as many times as you want to improve your grade. That's what I thought. Okay. It's important to note that the latest grade will always override the previous one, even if it's lower. Understood. Let's Preliminary trial. Okay. Give me back to this. Okay. 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 Let's let's get to the bottom of this. <laughs> let's get to the bottom of this. <laughs> let's get to the bottom of this. So as we have deduced from the preliminary trial, Frank Carter, the devious dog himself, is the getaway driver. But he didn't act alone. No, no, no. He worked with Anthony Young, the only man older than him to do the crime. Anthony Young overheard Helen Turner talking about her lottery ticket, at which point Frank Carter and him teamed up to steal and squeal. By that I mean collect the money. Then, that's it, that's the answer. <laughs> the only thing is, how am I supposed to know that it was Frank Carter? Frank Carter is younger? No. Chad Harris is the mastermind. Wait, what did I type in? Yeah. 
Why did I ever type in Chad Harris? <laughs> why did I ever type in Chad Harris ever? I don't even know why I would ever do that. <laughs> Wait, I think I was like talking about, I think I followed my gut as like a, <laughs> I thought I, I feel like I put the question as who's the mastermind, who's the driver. Chad Harris could never have been the driver. Uh, okay. So Chad Harris is the mastermind. This guy is the driver. This guy is the helper. The new guy they brought in. Yes. Okay. The helper. The new guy they brought in, Anthony Young, vouched for via Lorenzo. So it would be Carter Frank and Anthony Young. That's the answer. Open and shut case. Mastermind, of course, Chad Harris. Okay. Mission accomplished. Now, of course, unfortunately, um, unfortunately, I need to call a Spectacore and we're going to play Hitman. But I like this game. Um, and I would like to try it again. It's very fun already. Alta 4. Um, Uh, the very first elusive target ever is back. Oh Sean my God! Bean oh. must die. Oh, sorry, I'm yelling to myself as I put in my title. Uh, the uh, elusive or the target was supposed to be elusive, not my partner. I was worried about you there for a second, man. I was worried you were gonna fall into a, a puzzle hole. I actually became a detective for a moment, so I. If you ever need me to solve any crimes, you know I used to be a detective once. <laughs> Do you then have back in September of '08, I passed out drunk in the drive-through of a burger shot. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? Do you have trouble keeping up the voice for a full like eight-hour RP session? Surprisingly, not. Interesting. Like for whatever reason yeah. that the the Greg voice, which is basically just like a bad Joey Diaz impression, <laughs> uh, it it's doable. Maybe that's your real voice, and this entire time you've been doing this like Canadian nerdy. Yeah, boy just work. to like try and fit in. <laughs> yeah, that would uh, be uh, crazy. Anyway, how are you playing some Hitman? Doing Bird Percent? How did that go? It was actually really good, man. I thought I was kind of worried that learning the new strats was going to be awful. But they were all super chill. They were actually like all very reasonable and not terrible. So we're on like strat 14 out of 20. What's cool about learning new hash strats in Hitman is they're always shorter. So you can get a lot of reps in really fast. <laughs> yes. You know, yes. once they go down to like a 48 second time. You I, can hate <laughs> when, I hate when you practice something and you have to watch the cutscene. That's my oh, least yeah. favorite thing. Like at the end of Colorado or Bangkok, both of those are brutal. All right, I need to evict my cat from my room because she's just like... Attached. No problem. So... Wait, is this a... This is an arcade? No. Oh, there's challenges here. All right, so do you want to race this or what? Apparently we gotta it's got... Find, we got to find a way to make it hard. It's got levels, though. It's not normal. It's not a normal elusive target. What? Okay, hold on. It's got three levels. Unless I'm crazy and I'm missing it. Game Are modes? you looking at elusive target arcade? I mean, you're probably not. You're probably just going from the main menu, I presume. Yeah, I mean, I'm, at, I'm at arcade. They don't have, like, Wait. a main menu elusive target. Unless I'm okay, crazy. you... No, you do. It's just, like, you have to go over the top right and then scroll with your scroll wheel. Chat, just spam boomer, uh, okay? Just spam boomer. No, but it actually, even when I scroll over, it doesn't have it. It uh, just has the Ouroboros. Oh, okay. Um, Excuse me? <laughs> have you considered that you're old? 
What are what? Show me which one is the fucking. Oh, I'm just baiting at this point. I don't even, I, <laughs> you I don't even know. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah I just wanted to much. call you old. It's fun. Uh, I wanted to fit in with uh, your chat. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did, bro. Uh, uh, go to featured. It's... Wait, what are, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you oh, saying? Oh, you're right. I'm right, oh. bro. Unless got... you aren't. Oh, I'm fucking right. Oh, no, go to the live tab. There you go. Go to the live tab. And that's on the left side. Uh, that's what it was. Uh, okay. So that's the OG, and then I don't know about the arcade. Go to live. Oh, I see. 29 days. And then we have an arcade with three challenges. Yeah, so we could probably do both. Like, yeah, I guess let's do the arcade. And then what I wanted to do for the elusive target is mm -hmm. who can kill Sean Bean in the most stylish way. Okay, yeah, I actually love that. Okay, so we just I have, have to do some, it I have some ideas. however we want, okay? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, cool. Hell yeah. So let's do the Ouroboros first and just blitz through it. See if we can beat um, all three challenges. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Um... It is literally Sean Bean, chat. Yeah. They put Sean Bean in the game because he always dies in the movies, but now he's called the undying in this game, and he's supposed to be impossible to kill. That's the idea. So you have to, he's the first elusive target they ever made. He's back. Again, if you don't know what an elusive target is, I'm not telling you yet because we're going to do a arcade first where you have, I think, multiple chances. No, uh, it's not. It's not is it still rules. one? Same rules? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. If you fail it, you get to retry it in like a month. Oh. Yikes. Or if you're you, you'll just buy another copy. Amen, brother. Flex a little cash. Uh, wait, I want to watch this cutscene. One second. Uh... Good morning, 47. Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. Mm. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. Is that the number of times he's died in movies? Is that tied up? Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This okay. information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Okay. Being close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. <laughs> Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point. Okay, I can snipe him. Restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance. Okay, don't tell me all the options. I'll figure it out myself. <laughs> They're backseating. The game is backseating. I see. I to pen. Leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here... Turn it up. All right, well, I... I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. To be entirely honest, this one's a bit of an embarrassment. Please make sure he doesn't come back again. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, you, uh, here it is. You cannot play an elusive target. You only get one chance. If you die during an elusive target, that's it. Game over. One chance, one death, one window. It is only available for a limited time. If you die or fail the mission, you don't get another chance. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an elusive target. And this is the very first one ever created, finally re-released, featuring none other than Sean Bean. Um, cool. I'm down to go after it. Let me... Are you ready to start? Or are you watching the cutscene? Uh, I just finished it. Um... Okay. So we gotta uh, kill him with the pen. Pen in the oh, eye. Oh, you're doing doing the elusive target. Okay, bad, bad, bad. bad. The arcade um, level one. The arcade first. Yep. Ready? Oh, shit. Uh, sure. I'll All find right. my loadout. Good luck. 
Uh, let me know luck. when you beat all three or you've died. <laughs> all right, bye. Oh, true. I guess that's okay. possible now. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Godspeed. Okay, here we go. Racing a Spectacore in all three levels of the Ouroboros. First one, I got to beat Mark Faber by stabbing him in the eye. So I got to find a pen. I can only start at the Dolphin Fountain. I'm going to start in my iconic clown suit. I will smuggle in a... Where do I want to smuggle it? I guess I'll just smuggle in right in there. And I'll get... I just want... Uh... I mean, I'll probably just sick dart him and then stab him with a pen. <laughs> right? That sounds fucking uh, straightforward. In fact, I'll even bring a... Uh... A little clown fart action. And we should ban a Maddox in the next one. Uh, and one of these. Yeah, it seems all perfect to me. Go. Turn out the pen is mightier than this. I'm not going to bring two snipers. <laughs> I'm obviously not going to bring two snipers. Ow. Ow. Your target is already inside the Miami Bay. Okay. Dave I actually our informant is waiting for you in the reception area. Can probably if just like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. Sure. What you do from then on is up to you. Sure, fine. Hi. You must opponent. be Dave Reddy. You will not wait around for long. Yes. You're the one I've been expecting. Hi. A special guest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So like I told your spirit, <laughs> you inside the meeting wait let me get the sound up a little bit i'm the special guest that uh sean bean wanted to meet that's it what you do from there is up to you got it just how i like it all right uh, but uh you can't go in dressed like that you'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab guys or or a guard i guess i'll work something out Good. sure i'll wait for fine here Who's looking at me? Oh, you looking at me. Uh, sorry, no small change. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll take this. And I want to hide this body just in case. Just in case. Now I have one of these. Hey, I'm back. I look like I work here. How's this? Where'd you find that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, can't take me up. I can't wait to meet Sean. I just watched National Treasure with Ari recently. I love Sean Bean, bro. He's a great villain. He's a great hero. He's a great actor. And he's even better when he dies. I'm not going to end up on this camera, though. This guy's with me. Do not want to end up on this camera. So, this deal is <laughs> closed when we enter the room. All right? I get okay. you in. That's all. Yep. And then your people take care of my problem. Yep. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Getting in. Need to with people like the Marinos. Take this out. Conceal it. Stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know, buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean. I don't care, sir. I don't care. Stupid. The Marino cartel. Is, is Sean Bean Mr. Bean? They're <laughs> those kind of people. They're not the same person. Buddy. Could have used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game face. My game face is always on. Your game face is terrible. <laughs> Jeez, a skinhead mechanic? I'm not a skinhead, I just... That is Mark Faber. Oh, hello, Sean. The most elusive man in the history of... The most elusive target? I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy. Special yeah, hey, bro. Gatekeeper working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my brain, but I'm sure you I would here. love to find a pen. Can't say that I have. Oh. Uh, Dude, it's his voice. I see. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Not finding oh. a pen. <laughs> Very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't Not more, finding friend. a pen. An extensive briefing to hey, Sean. Sync up on the... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I... Come right. closer, <laughs> this... Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've kept an Sean, I'm a big fan. I love Lord... Oh, my God. I love Lord of the Rings, bro. Step out of my bubble. Okay, you got it. Couldn't agree more, my friend. Mm. I've prepped an extensive 
Okay, while they are figuring that out, just need to... See if there's a pen. Because the pen is mightier than the sword. Fuck. He'll see that, but it's not a problem. A pen, a pen, a pen, a pen, a pen. My kingdom for a pen, dude. Um. Pen, a pen, a pen. Hello, doctor. Hello, hello, hello. A pen. A Kronstadt pen, dude. I'm looking for a pen. And a note on robotics? I got this. All I need is a pen, sir. I got some sick guns, but I don't want those. I don't want guns. I want a pen. There's an octane booster. Oh, that's the pen. Oh, shit. Oh, that's the pen. Oh, I have to get him. Oh, I have to get him in here. Okay. Oh, shit. It's over. He got away. Okay. We hire extras as props, telling them it's for a TV show. Okay. Cameras for effect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Getting their assassin in place is all down to social engineering. Okay, well, That's they're going to have a problem because there's a naked man in there. Just make sure the replacement cadaver is where I indicate. There's a naked man running around. That's... Okay. I'll reveal the okay. assassin. Get him in the elevator. Let's get on with it. Upstairs, and He's talking about a lot of some serious shit on the phone. I'll talk to you later. Hello, hello. Yep. Hello. Hello, Mr. Bean. Grab this. Okay. He's gonna monologue, I'm sure. Uh, did you check Penn Island? No, I did not check Penn Island. I did not join the Pen15 Club. What is it? This guy's just... You must be Mark Faber. I wish I could say I knew all about you, but Dave's been uncharacteristically secretive. Mm. You work in weapons development too? More on the practical application side of things, if you understand. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, of course. V v very nice. <laughs> well, um, I looked at the diagrams you sent. I haven't had that much time to work on the prototypes, but I do have something early to show you. Lovely. Let's have a look. So, so I need to... The designs hmm. were interesting. How am I going to push him on this pen? They were drawn up to my specifications, yes. Ah, so that explains the... Shit. <laughs> Shit. He's going to open that door. Can I bump him? No. Fuck. Okay. God damn it. I like things to be custom. You could say that... Oh shit. He's in the pen right now! He's in the pen right now! Ah shit! Shit. Well, technically. Technically, I don't need to do it silent assassin. Technically, I don't need to do it silent assassin. Uh I just need to stab him in the eye with a pen. And that finishes the target. I just have to be able to get out of here. I just have to get out of here without. Right, let's have a look at this. I need it to be... An exact replica of Sukhoi found in there. And it has to be. Hey! Uh, excuse me, sir. I think you dropped that. He's gonna shoot me to death. No sudden moves, okay? <laughs> oh shit. No, no, no. Get down. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. 
The money is being transferred now. <laughs> Time to find an exit. <laughs> Smooth as silk. Smooth as silk. And they'll never know. They're none the wiser. None the wiser as to who that mysterious clown was that got the job done. <laughs> exactly as planned. Plat! Sean Bean's eye on the thing. That animation was sick. Okay. That is a classic one star, but it did get the job done. I don't get this wasn't Silent Assassin. I don't mean either, dude. I don't know whether. All right, so now we have to do part two. It should get harder. Uh, this is an escalating uh, contract, so it should get more difficult every time. This one might ring a bell, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 oh, we already, operative currently working as a freelance assassin. We already saw this. Faber has been con yeah, we saw this. So I'm sorry, what do we have to do now? We have to do... What is my objective? I don't get it. What do they change? Different vid? Oh, let me see. This one might ring a bell, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has no, managed it's not, to it's come same, back same bid, right? Dead. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We have confirmation oh. that Faber has a meeting <laughs> in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. Okay, but... <laughs> An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. No, same thing. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside. Okay, same thing, but he has a fucking eye out now. <laughs> like, he didn't die. He just, his eye is, okay, that's really funny. All right, we have to kill him again. All right, I'll do the same thing. Actually, I'll do something, I'll do something different. I mean, if it's just kill him, what, what do I got to worry about? I just... Give me a sniper rifle. <laughs> I'll fucking blast him from the entrance. Uh... You know? If I'm speeding through... Not two snipers. No, not two snipers. That's unnecessary. Why not two? Because <laughs> I don't need to. Because if you have two, you have one on your back, and then it reveals everything, as what just happened in the game. What does that mean? Your target is already in so theoretically, like if I'm holding a sniper, our informant is waiting for you in the reception area. I feel like if I can you know, just. He can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. You will not wait around for long. Someone investigate? Does he ever come out here? Huh. I mean, if I'm just here to kill him... I guess I can... Like... And pull the same gambit. But I don't even think I need the intro meeting. Uh, or I can start as... You must be Dave go, Ray. go, Dave, go. Ah, yes. You're the one. I mean, I have the outfit. Mark Faber's up here. What if I just blast, blast, get out? I mean, I'm not... <laughs> Is that him? No, that's fucking... <laughs> That's a uh, big guy. That is Mark Faber, possibly the so, most elusive man in the history of the ICA. I'm Mark Faber. Good Hi. to finally meet you, Mr. Faber. Hi. I've heard a lot about you. Can we meet somewhere uh, that's private? Not Dave Reddy, sir. This is just the guy who works here. Right. 
I just work here. Mr. Reddy should be here shortly. Ah, oh, that wouldn't suit you. <laughs> All right, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Um. I mean, we just gotta go, dude. We don't have time for all this shenanigans. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. <laughs> we don't have time for all this shenanigans. You I feel like I just... Me and you're really freaking me out. Can you just leave me, please? I'm sorry, ma'am. Turn around, please. I just want to... Alright, I got a plan. 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 Mr. Faber! Dave Reddy, you're not... Absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy. Excuse me. Can you tell Sierra I said hi? She's so cool. Shit. <laughs> Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Fee. They got away. The money is being transferred now, forty seven. Time right, to find I gotta hide. I gotta hide. He's going the right way. Perfect. He's going that way, perfect. I have time, I have time. Oh wait, I don't have time. Uh, I have to go out the front door. Give me this. Oh, someone's coming. Oh, shit. Can you fit with the body? Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Oh, shit. <laughs> we gotta hide Faber's body. We gotta hide Faber's body. We don't want any trouble. Oh, that's not good. Just dump it. Perfect. Oh, they saw the body. <laughs> oh, they saw the body. All right. If you did this, you better tell me. I didn't do this. What's this? This is security. I didn't fucking do it. <laughs> you can't blame me. All right. I didn't do it. <laughs> well, I'm not going to defend myself when I get accused of a murder I didn't commit. Uh, scroink. I'm coming for you. Ow, 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 ow. And we're out. <laughs> All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, by the way, if you link your Twitch account, you do get a drop. We have drops today. Uh, mission accomplished. Stars go up. You should be able to get a Twitch duck if you link your Twitch account. All right, now he's got to be dead. There's no way he's still alive. Okay, whoa. If you change your disguise at any point, you immediately fail the mission. If anyone sees you, wait, you gotta be able to see this. Look. If anyone sees you perform any illegal action, you immediately fail the mission. I can't get spotted and I can't use a disguise. It has to be truly SASO. All right. All right. Now we cranked it up. This is not gonna be useful. We're gonna want double trank. Double trank and gold brick. Um. 
Hmm. Obviously, this would be fairly easy with an emetic. I'm going to try and do it without an emetic. I think a medic kind of invalidates it. Um, but I want to do it. So let's see. Um, give me reception and give me, can I even get like a third or maybe a pistol? A third trank. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna tranquilize every fucking person who could run into him. Then we're gonna drag him and toss him off the side of the cliff. You can kill NPCs as long as you're not seen. Is that what it is? I think you're right. Wait, I can murder people. I just can't be seen. Your talk. But I can't use a disguise. I have to use the clown outfit for the whole thing. Okay. That's where it gets interesting. Is waiting for hmm. you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a hmm. meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Hmm. Be mindful though. He will not wait around for long. I can't change starting disguise. That already puts a bit of a damper on what I had in mind. I don't want the disguise, but I do want the key card. I want the key card. Can that open this? Perfect. Employees only. That'll get me up to this second floor. Now, if a camera spots me, it might be an instant loss, right? I think that's correct. So I have to be extra... Oh. That's an instant loss. Wait, does that, did I just lose? Oh no. Did that instant lose? Oh, that was so fast. I alt F forward. Let me see what. I don't have to log into another account. Wait, are we serious on that? Wait, are we serious on that? Would I just pause? Well, I... <laughs> I didn't think it worked. I didn't think it was like the game goes gray. Uh, oh, man. I think I hit it too late. I think I hit it too late. I might have to... Oh, I am locked out. <laughs> Bro, I'm locked out. Okay, wait. Do I have another account? Um, dude, I forget the other account. Uh, epic. Okay. Wait, do I have Hitman? Oh, what was my other account? Uh, Hitman. Uh, does anyone have an Epic Games account that has the game? What was the other account? Get it on Game Pass? Oh, I... No. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think I have it in my message history. I think I had Ludwig's account, <laughs> actually. I think I have Ludwig's account. I think I need Lud's account. Where did he send that to me? Uh um shit shit <laughs> 
Okay, I got a better idea. 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 I got an insane idea. Wait, why is Steam so stupid? Hitman. Hitman, World of Assassination, Cart. I already have all this. Wait, it won't let me buy. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? <laughs> um. Um, I, wait, oh, I can't get this, um, no, because I already have all this stuff, I have all the Hitman stuff, so it should just let me do it, but I won't buy it, dude, I know I've bought this before, that's the thing, I know I've bought this before, wait, I'll just check my Gmail, and look at my Epic Games history, um, Jotes, you have one? DM me, bro. What do I people have sent me this before. I just don't know where it is. Who was it? Uh I don't use Steam. I don't use Steam. I have Epic Games. What about uh Hitman? If I look at Hitman Epic. Epic Games receipt. Okay, wait, this is where I bought it. <laughs> This is where I bought it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is my receipt from when I purchased it. Now, what account is this on? Um... Do you like Epic better? Every speedrunner uses Epic because it used to be Epic Games exclusive. So only people that play it recently got it on Steam. Um, it was a year in advance. So all of the grinding happened on Epic. And then you get all the DLC on Epic and then you don't switch off of Epic. Um, is the answer to that question. But it's, I can't, dude, I can't figure it out. That's pissing me off. Sucks. Um, doesn't tell me. She epic on my game pass till I steam. Does that really contribute um, to the dialogue? <laughs> Do you feel like that was helpful? Because I don't. I don't. I don't feel like that was helpful. Mm. Okay, wait, I got it. Uh, Epic Games Launcher. Invite who to my wedding? Wait, all right, sign up. Continue. Password. Did I get this? Did I get it? Jotes might have cooked? No, Jotes, it says you don't own Hitman. <laughs> Jotes, I, I, it, it says you have to buy Hitman. How, how can that be? How can that possibly be? All right. Did you just give me your account to buy you Hitman? No, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. No, it just wasn't working. It, it, it just took me to the store page when I clicked it, but okay. Okay, we got Jotes' account. Clutch, King Clutch. King Clutch. Uh, and now 
We are going to blitz this. We're going to Donner and Blitzen. Ahem, ahem. Ahem. And it didn't even cost me $60. What a treat. Come on, come on. Load, 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 load. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, we ball. I'll even I need the clown. Sorry, I have to I have to have the clown. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Alright, I gotta kill him with the pen! Kill him with the pen. Is there no way to just drag him there and for Good afternoon, 47. No, it has to be the pen, huh? That's so ready. Our informant is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. Fuck you. <laughs> we don't have time for this shit, bro. It's a speed. Go, 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 go. You must be Dave Reddy. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Yeah, Robert Knox owns the whole thing. He straight up just bought it before the race. Downstairs. Jeez, a skinhead mechanic. That. Hi, Mark. Possibly the most. Dude, there's like no way to get him to the pen without just waiting. That's it. That's the only thing you can do is just wait for the pen. That's actually not cool. <laughs> All right. Is the elevator shaft here or something? No, I'll just put you right here. The real pen was the friends we stabbed along the way. How does that make sense, sir? How is the pen a friend that we stabbed along the way? I just gotta wait. He should come by, do his cell phone thing. And... Bob's your uncle, right? That's it. Dave Reddy comes into the building. He talks his shit, talks that talk. With you on this job? <laughs> I'd show you my yeah. Then he's going to come down here. Okay. <laughs> and we're just going to insta stab him on the pen and get the fuck out of Dodge. It should be, it should be easy. No troubles. It's right here. Just waiting right here. I don't think there's going to be any issue. <laughs> In before fail? I don't think there's any way to fail it. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could be sneakier and, like, get everyone knocked out and reduce the amount of possible guards. Or I can just grab all these guns when no one's looking. <laughs> and shoot, shoot. Oh, fuck. That's a problem. 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 No. Stop right there. I didn't sit. Okay. What are you okay. Fuck! We gotta restart. We gotta restart, we gotta restart, we gotta restart. There's just no way he's gonna go to that pen on time. There's no way. There's no way. If we if we fight that out, even though we'd kill him, he's not gonna go to the pen. Oh, okay. This is a, a delay. Is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. What if I just become Dave? Be mindful, though. You will not wait around for long. Ah! 
Can I, like, lure him? Will you just move faster if there's no Dave? <laughs> Go to the bathroom. Uh, not again. That's just irritating. Like, I don't want to have to wait for this whole fucking dialogue. Where are you going? Okay. Oh. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't take his outfit. All right, well. If he's not coming, maybe that will change the speed. Wow. Hey, man. Yeah, I love what you do. I don't, I don't understand it, but it's great. <laughs> Wait, if that guy's never coming, will he ever do the full cycle? I might have just fucked it again. Uh, I might have just Robotics fucked it again. Groundbreaking artificial neural network technology. Sure. We'll see what yeah, they say. Hey, bro. Oh, he's moving. That is he's Mark moving. Faber, possibly the most elusive man in the history of the ICA. He's moving. Hmm, I can poison this? Is he? He's going to do stuff, yeah, right? Keep it real. Yeah. Okay, he's actually moving. That's good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. That is very good. Okay, perfect. Uh-huh. No problems. No problems. Are you gonna go meet him? Go for it, King. Hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> Fucking contained. Fucking contained. Contained. Fucking contained. Absolutely contained. Oh, yes. Woo, baby. Contained. Locked down. Not an issue. Okay. Okay. All right, now we're loaded up on gear. He's going to come in here. Just make sure this door is shut tight. We pop his eyeball on this thing. They were drawn up to my specifications, yes. Ah, so that explains the untraditional nature. Hey! Stand still. Do not move a muscle. You're right. Over your head. you five by five. Come on, you copy? I'm like the only one she's got. Target eliminated. Okay. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. What? The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. Keep moving. Everybody keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. This is not a drill. We have a situation. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Okay. 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 
Okay, okay. All right, 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 all right. Level two, just go, just go, just go. This is just kill, right? This is just kill. This is literally just kill. Good afternoon, 47. This is just kill. Dave Reddy, There's no general. Is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. This might be crazy, be but mindful, though. you will not wait around for long. <laughs> I think no one sees. Uh, yeah, I'm in a good disguise. No one sees. Downstairs is okay. Upstairs. We just gotta kill him and get out, so... Damn. That is Mark Faber. Possibly the most elusive man in the history of the ICA. Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. Okay. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. We're back. We're back where we were. Uh, oh, why is there a McDonald's fucking thing on my screen? <laughs> Why is there, why does that message keep popping up? <laughs> okay, uh, now I'm gonna do the last one. This should be very easy. Uh, I guess we, a medic for this one. Oh, well, yeah, fine. I can shoot, all right, fine. Uh, smuggle item, no, give me, I don't need a lethal syringe, that's for sure. I can just do a uh, trank, tranquilizer, and we go again. Oh. But what's the answer? No, it is not insider trading to buy McDonald's stock and then eat a Big Mac. <laughs> We've actually already, unfortunately, already answered that on this stream. Our informant is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. Watch. Wait, it's no illegal action. Is that see me or see any illegal action? Like if I shoot someone and they find the body, do I fail? Or is that I have to get spotted? What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful though. You will not wait around for long. Just spotted, interesting. Who's, who's the guy that spotted me last time? I was right here and someone spotted me. Who? Who? Oh, this guy? Who? Someone outside? Oh, this guy on the fucking... I see. Um... Okay. So technically I could just shoot him, right? Am I crazy? If no one sees me shoot him, I could just shoot him through the... I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. It's no disguise, but, oh.
Does he ever go out here on the balcony? Is this guy coming in here? Can't I just shoot him right here? Huh. Yep. Yep, that worked. Yep. Yep. Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last oh, time shit. I have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. Okay, I just need to get the fuck out of Dodge. Oh shit. <laughs> I need to get out. I need to get out, dude. I need to get the fuck out of Dodge without a disguise. Wait, this is kind of tough. Personnel with military experience has exploded. Good for us, I guess. I'm pulling in a triple raid on this. Just keep it up. Well, as long as they stay away from here. Otherwise, we're going to have to retire them. Oh, this isn't good. I got two of them. <laughs> Not the third, though. I didn't get the third. Tell me he's not going to investigate. Tell me he's not going to investigate. Oh. Fuck! third account i need a third account who's got a third account i have a fresh account will that work yes yes dm it to me on discord i need a third account bro it just has to have the game third account baby uh let me log out of uh jotes here Do, 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 do. Yeah, uh, I need a Steam account though, so I have to install it. Uh, I mean, not a Steam. I need like an Epic Games account. Dude, the Air Force still counted as a loss. I assume so. I mean, Jotes could check. I think that was a loss. I alt afford pretty late. Um. This is an elaborate plan for everyone to steal everyone's skins. You got Epic? If you have Epic, please just DM me on Discord and I will use it. Okay, Epic. Oh, here we go. I got it right here. Uh, okay. Round three, fight. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. No, Beetle Nutria got me. If anyone got me, I know Beetle Nutria got me. Oh, I need a security code. Uh, send the 2FA code. 2FA code, hurry, we're on a clock! We're on a clock here! <laughs> two-factor, 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 come on! Let's go! You sent me a time guesser code. <laughs> you sent me a link to a time guesser. That's not what I want. Wrong copy. That's funny. That's... <laughs> okay. Browse. Discover. Library. Search. Uh, Hitman. Uh, uh, launch. Damn, you bought this game and never played it. <laughs> you have zero out of 47 achievements. Shame on you, Beetle. I mean, thank you for the copy, but... You bought this whole thing? You bought the World of Assassin's Creed? You didn't play one round? <laughs> well, you're not going to have anything unlocked. You're going to have nothing unlocked. I'm going to have no weapons. <laughs> you're going to have absolutely zero we Okay, fine. No big deal. Uh... A fresh account is okay. It is okay. It is fine. 
Lakers can't be choosers? You're so right. When you're right, you're right. Play for free. Ouroboros. Round one, I have nothing. <laughs> I don't even have a gun, bro. Oh, God. I don't even have a clown suit. I have to do it in the... Oh, the fucking pen again! Okay. It's fine. Good afternoon, folks. Back to Penn. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception room. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. I just need an item I can throw. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. Dave. You must be Dave Reddy. Going. Ah, yes. You're the one I, I just transferred from Metro to Tech. Figured I'd try out a new beat, you know? Everything you hoped it would be? Don't know. This is my first gig. Never been to any of these races before. But it sure is. Yes. You're the one. Oh, Investigate? probably check that out, don't you think? Yeah. All right. Huh. <laughs> That's bad. What the doing? hell is that? What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> oh man, bullseye! That's so cruel, man. That's fine. I need to kill these guys. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> okay, everyone relax. Ah, uh, this is spreading. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Shit, I didn't want another account. I didn't want another account. We didn't want another account. Good afternoon, 47. Okay, come on, relax. Here we go. Contained, 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 contained. Is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead They're you angry because Max Verstappen didn't win? Did he not win? Do from then on is up to you. Be Did he not that. win? He will not wait around for long. Metro to tech. Figured I'd try out a new beat, you know? Everything you hoped it would be? Don't know. This is my first gig. Never been to any of these races before. Oh, this is bad. It's fun. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Hey, dude. Doesn't matter. Amazing job on Sierra's car. Thanks. 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 What? Son of a <laughs> ah shit. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Don't. Oh, they're all orange. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, dude. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Obviously, that's fine. 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 Good afternoon, forty-seven. That's fine. That's fine. Everyone, get a fourth account ready if you can. Our informant is waiting for you in the reception room. Okay, this will work. He can lead you to a this will work. Hammers only. Hammers only. Hammers only. What you do from then on is up to you. <laughs> the you trick know. is... You will not wait the trick is I'm trying to get too greedy to, beat, to you know? pull his body to a safe location. But that's not important. Perfect, 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 perfect. Flawless, flawless. <laughs> flawless, flawless run. Now that should get my dog moving. 
as I believe he is. Yep. Okay. He's moving. All right, Faba, you keep going. I will go this way. I will open this. That guy will turn around. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Almost went fucking mission critical there. Interesting. I have a lot of time. A lot of time. Sir, In fact, I have so much time. Let's do that. He's not coming in here, is he? Bro, why is this guy so fucking nosy? Yeah, I have uh, exploded I have hands. Here. Ah, ridiculous. I the that. practical value is zero compared to the development costs. How would something like that ever become a commercial success? I don't know. Like this? Okay, now I'm the guy that shows him the shit. No one looking? Okay. Okay, I can talk to him. I can take him on the pen tour. That is Mark Faber. Hi, 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 hi. Possibly the Mr. most elusive Faber. man in the yes. history there, of the sir. ICA. You're the weapons designer. Absolutely. Smashing. <laughs> Let's have a look at what you've got. Let's go. I know the designs I sent were unique, but I figured you would appreciate the challenge. Yeah. I'm always up for a challenge, Mr. Faber. <laughs> so, where to begin? I'll leave that entirely up to you, Mr. Faber. I'm How about the pen? Freedom of approach. How about the pen? How about the How about the pen? Shut this door. Right, let's have a look at this. <laughs> okay, now we just have to just show me your hands. No sudden moves, okay? Okay, yep. Shit. Oh shit. Target eliminated. Hey, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. Position over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me fucking out. Let me 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 out. All right. Nearest exit. It's me. I'm here now. Ready to meet up with Sierra Knox. Stole my mascot outfit. Oh, let's get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like this time the target wasn't elusive enough. <laughs> yeah! And that's not opening. <laughs> Does that one not work or I... Oh my god! Oh, no. Ma'am, don't panic. It's the jogger! Okay. Okay. Somehow Faba returned. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we have again zero items. We're past the eyeball thing. Can I smuggle anything? Is it... Okay, I can smuggle an Ika Chrome in the fucking... Um, all right, I just get the pistol. I walk up there, I kill him. In fact, maybe I just get the hammer. I steal a pistol. Just getting out with that shitty pistol is gonna be a pain in the ass, but... Good afternoon, 47. 
Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in a Sure, place. sure, sure, what sure. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. Hammer time? I don't think hammer is necessary. I think I just grabbed this pistoli. From right here. And then... Can I just climb the elevator shaft? Climb the elevator shaft. This might be the way to do it. Easy. And then... I don't need to get seen by anybody, but... Just go through... Oh, watch out for the camera. This is actually not good. Never been to any of these races before. Uh... Just give me this. Give me this. Give me your key card. We go straight up. We go straight up. We take out the pistoli. Open the door. Back of the room. Okay. The money is being transferred Go right out the front door. Time to find an exit. And they were all henchmen anyway, except for that. I mean, even that woman worked for an evil corporation. Okay. Now, prep the fourth account because we are going in. So I don't have a trank. I don't have any items. And I have to do it silent assassin suit only. Hmm. 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 Okay. Okay. You've got account 13 lined up? Alright, I'll unlock some stuff for you. Okay. Alright. I'm, I'm helping your account. Okay. I can just start with a gun? Oh, thank God. A gun and fiber wire. Perfect. Uh, fuck it. Let's go. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> Account number three, baby! So as long as somebody, as long as no one sees me doing anything illegal, it's fine. Our informant is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. As long as no one sees me. He will not the trick is they long. cannot see me. So I grab the hammer. I can't change disguises. But I can get the key card. Unlock. Now, this guy should come out of his hidey hole. Okay, I can get rid of him. I just toss this here. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This should work. 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 I just need a way out. That's the only thing is I gotta find a way out. You hey, turn. What's going on? Who's turn there? away. Turn away. Knock that guy out. 
Hide his body. Hide his body. So where is my way out? I'm going to go this way, through here, down the stairs, and out. Should be real simple. So all I got to do is wait for this guy to go inside, distract the... Actually, I can just shoot him right here, right? Wait for this guy to go in, and then I just pop him, and I leave. It's very simple. Who sent me account number four, baby? We are going to get this done. <laughs> oh. Oh, here we go. This person has hella unlocks. Hella unlocks. Oh, perfect. Epic Games account with hella unlocks. We are getting a route. We are getting a route, dude. Uh, I got to log out of here. Beetle Nutria, thank you for your service. Uh... Okay. I wonder if it was like a like a fraud warning at Epic Games right now. Like, wait, <laughs> there's one IP address logging into like a dozen different accounts. <laughs> wait, what? Uh, Hitman. Library. Hitman. Oh, this dude's cracked. He's got plenty of accounts. Do, 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 do. do you think this is how IOI imagined elusive targets would be played? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think that was their original intention. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, this is account number four. Sean Bean remains elusive. The annoying part is that you have to do the pen kill, which just takes time. Um... That's good. You don't have the clown, do you? Nice. Okay, that was the problem. We didn't have the clown unlocked. Okay. Good afternoon, 47. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception room. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for you. AK-47 with that AK-47. Brandon's age is 47. Getting payments every second. He sees the yellow bar. Where, man, he ain't even threatened. Every time he got that Glock, man, I love the doubt is swearing. Cause that the same headline as hit, man. If we and the run and spreading fear within the syndicate when he kills the gods on accident when he goes bald it'll be permanent and may be a clown but no circuses then jagos where the content is his egghead will give him complexes he's popping off like quincy like fall guys he's ghosting he'll need an n1 head after this stream when he loses you know he'll scream agent 47 with that ak-47 went inside just 47 get him Every second, he sees the yellow bar when man, he ain't even threatened. Every time he got that Glock, man, I love the doubt is sweat. Apologies, apologies, apologies. Apologies, 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 apologies. Actually, I can just do this. I can just do the same thing. I can just. Do this. Wait here. 
for this guy. He comes in. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Come on. People now. Smile on your brother. Everybody get together. Try to love one another right now. Come on, people now. Smile on your brother. Everybody get together. Try to love one another right now. Mark Faber! Come on, Faber. That is Mark Faber. Possibly the most elusive man in the history of the ICA. Come on, people now. Smile on your brother. Everybody get together. Mr. Faber. Yes. You're the weapons designer. Absolutely. Yep. Smashing. Let's have a look at what you've got. Okay, come on in. The designs I sent were unique. I figured you would appreciate the challenge. I'm always up for a challenge, Mr. Faber. So, where to begin? I'll leave that entirely up to you. Right Mr. here, buddy. Faber. Right here. I'm all about freedom of approach. Right here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, Mr. Faber. Right. You got one option, sir. So crazy they don't start shooting. I've already the one. Wait for North America? Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Right there. I okay, not killing Nox. Actually, killing Nox is a huge problem. Oh shit, I should have killed. Oh shit. Oh shit. 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 Okay. Right okay. Right <laughs> Come in, command. Everyone relax. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Pen down. Pen down. Okay. Ba 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 da ba ba da ba. All right, next one is just any, 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 any method. Anyway, this one's easy. This one's no problem. And then we get to the third and most important. <sighs> okay. Good afternoon, forty-seven. Okay. <laughs> Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception room. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around. Let me do this one uh, as if it's the other rules and just see if that works. So I grab this key card, right? I just keep moving. I open this. Shoot the camera. Keep moving. Grab the arm. Dude's gonna come out here. Dude's gonna come out here. I think I just kill him, right? Take out the trank. Trank, trank. Nobody sees shit. I kill Faber. I run back this way. 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 
Hopefully, I go down the stairs. Deal with Mr. Faber. A camera saw me, so the I have to watch out for that. Now, Time to find an exit. That should be the route. That should be the route. Like, no problem. Nearest exit, 177, 110. Okay. Red guns? It's not what it asked me to do. It asked me to do, uh... No one can see you do anything. Red guns just means they found a body. I want to leave a body. I want to let them know. Uh... That should, that should work. I just gotta avoid... <clears throat> okay. That should be the plan. That should be the plan. This could be it. This could be the route. This could be the run. Every item the same, I just do exactly that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Just gotta watch out for that camera. That camera did see me. Uh... Good afternoon, 47. Okay. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a So theoretically, all I got to do is up to you. Is go over here. Be mindful though. He will not wait around for long. Knock this fuck out. Take this. <laughs> Swipe this key card. Pop the camera. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Grab this. I uh, should be able to just kill this guy when he comes out here. Actually, can I just trank them both? No, there's one more guy. There's one more guy. There's one more guy. So I just, oh, oh shit. Right? And then I check out the trank. No camera, no camera. Hopefully, this will be the oh. last time we have to deal with Mr. Favor. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Whoa! Like a thief in the night, none the wiser, and no one knows the legend of the clown, honk honk, a whisper in the shadows, a polar bear blinking in a blizzard. You don't see him, you don't hear him, you barely know he was there except for the loss of life of one Mark Faber. Let's go! First try! First account! <laughs> Easy clap! Easy clap! That is now completed. Uh, perfectly done. Truly an impressive time. What's uh what's the spectacle up to? <laughs> uh, the sad salmon. Thank you for the that was a sick route. Man, thought those guys were gonna see it. What's he doing? Is he still playing? Um, there's no way he's still playing. Right, he only has one account. Um, oh, he's trying to do it SASO. He's on his eighth account. 
all right. Well, does he want to do flashy or does he? I have to go back to my account now. I have to log out uh, of Sad Salmon and go to Epic Games and log out of that. Is he creating a massive body pile? Oh, it's 11.30. Well, I just want to finish this. I got I to gotta go to bed, bro. Ari wants to... Um... Uh... Go become a detective. There's no way I can solve another one of those puzzles, even though I solved the first one so effectively. There's no way I could solve it in the time allotted, you know? Um, I'm not trying to get my sleep schedule all fucked up, bro. Would now be a good time for a new Hitman song? Fuck yeah, it would. Oh my god, look at this cover art! Already 10 <laughs> runs tonight, Big A. All of them dead. Another reset. reset. Look at the time. 9.59, which means it's not 10 yet. So chat plays your best, cause we're gonna get one more run for tonight. 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 Do you hear me? Do you feel me? One more run tonight. One more run. I think if Kendrick knew this existed, it would put the nail in the coffin on his beef with Drake and J. Cole. Like once this is out there, it just it seals the deal of him being on another level, you know? Because you can't make this kind of chat. One more run tonight. One more run for tonight. Night. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? One more run tonight. Uh, and when the stream starts, is marketing Beijing and the meme stocks. How indicators of recession are going up. And how lobbying means that members of Congress are scheming. But then it hits <laughs> nine o'clock. Switch it up, get some tweets and some TikToks. But the only thing that people are thinking of is could this be the night that a tree yacht goes for? Getting the record of him and set them up to hawk our feelings. Hoka starts to be reload. To the missions looking decent. Everyone run perfection somehow getting better. Then we run it and we run it until we get the record on. Every killer's highlight where they spawns a bad retreat to the base And even though the time's 10 3 we're still on the same run technically Wouldn't you know, a full hour's already gone What that? The day is 10 4 this is it, no time it's for more It's later than that The <laughs> game, and we hate the nose, telling us that the run's too slow Big A, cause when it's really over, there'll be an encore Because we will call for one more run for tonight One more run for tonight one more run for tonight. One more run for tonight. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? One more run tonight. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, we pull up a Spectacore's run while he play this song. He should be getting the kill right about now. One more run for tonight. Chat. One more run tonight. One more run for tonight. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? One more run tonight. What you want? Him at horse, we're record, be the spectacle, or to play one hour more, anything. All you gotta do is give in till it starts. It's not addiction, it's just doing your job. Runs are getting deeper, in and out, splits are getting greener. Get back to the safe house, pick a mission, there's no time to linger. Never mission shots, see these hands, but these ain't butterfingers. Only thing protecting that world record is the RNG. By the time you see him, RIP, you couldn't even speak yet. Only thing you could get out is. All the rugs are cleaner, what did you expect from this streamer? Eating y'all for breakfast with coffee, carry this coffee creamer. Clown suit, we rock because the fake goes hard. But anyone that thinks we're laughing stocks. Smiles knocked off when Atriox shows up. We don't aim to please, we aim to squeeze, and we won't stop until that record's ours. Wouldn't you know, a full hour's already gone. Big A, it's 10.04, this is it, no time for more. Big A, and we hate your nose, telling us that the run's too slow. Big A, cause when it's really over, there'll be an encore be we will call for one more run for tonight <laughs> One more run for tonight Okay One more run for tonight One more run for what tonight Do you hear me? Do you feel me? One more run tonight One more run for tonight <laughs> Chat, one more run tonight <laughs> One more run for what tonight Do you hear me? Do you feel me? One more run tonight Wait <laughs> I'm sorry, did he? <laughs> Did he? First of all, fire song. Fire fucking song from Abele. Did he just find every single person that would be on the route back to the exit and then knock and drag them all to their death? <laughs> uh, but he's still stuck, right? Is this, is this, 
I mean, is it is this the same? So this is one run. This is all one run of like knocking everybody out because he didn't. He's not on a different account. Or was it Alt F4? This is one. Oh my god. Uh. Okay. Wow. I could do this safely. What's this guy doing? Just huh? run across. He can just run, right? He can just run straight over. Those guys don't turn around. If anything, he made it like they're more likely to turn around. Because the guy's going to see the coin then turn around. Okay, he's chilling. <laughs> oh, shit. Does he, does he come this guy's... I would, if you go for it now... The gym and he's coming back through the gym, I'm going to get owned. Uh, Safe exit. I mean, I guess. He could also, yeah, just go down the stairs out the front. The race is over. <laughs> the race is over. Uh, that's funny. He tossed the coin. Just go for it. No, that guy's looking back. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> turn, 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 turn. No. You do want it to turn. He doesn't have any more tranks. He's putting a thing? I love how mischievous 47 looks when he's sneaking around. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to find that gun. Uh, he just goes, just go, just go, just go. Just send it. Yeah, yeah, just send it. What are you doing? Just send it, bro. Just send it. He's stopping right behind him. Oh, baby. Okay, he's almost there. He's almost there. No one's outside. Just go, uh... Go pistol shot the... No mud go shot the exit. Bro, he's going back? He's going back. Oh, oh. I have no idea where he was going. <laughs> I was too scared. So now, yeah, now Knox is here. <laughs> I'll take the safe exit. Fading disaster. Okay. Flirting with disaster. He is flirting with disaster. Uh... He did unquote, knock out 18 exit. people. Safe exit. I mean, down the stairs. Does he have a gun for the camera? Yeah. Down the stairs, out the front. Should be easy. I'm moving like Yo, French Montana. Yo, thank you for the prime. Eh. All right, he's got it from here. There's no way to, to fail from here. So, uh, do I end stream or do I try to push for what I wanted to do? So I had this plan of who could do the most stylish kill. And what I was thinking was, what if I, um, what if I, can I open the game? Epic Games. I'm sorry I logged into five different accounts, but that doesn't mean you should lock me out of mine. Well, if I can't open Epic, then there's, it's not, there's nothing going. Uh, Epic Games Launcher, Epic Games Launcher, end task. Uh, tell the world I know it's too late. Okay. Hitman, run. Epic Game Store is pretty ass, but they paid for Hitman exclusivity, and so they have my loyalty, unfortunately, uh, when it comes to my one of my favorite games. Uh, I got too many hours in the Epic Games version to switch. Still alive? I don't know. Can you believe it? Two days in a row, I'm going to midnight. When did that become a thing? Honestly, I don't normally stream on Sundays. I There's a non-zero. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm done. Yo, me as well, my friend. I heard you body piled. Uh, at one point, I heard you had, like, four <laughs> accounts going, champ. What's the news on that?
Uh, I think I am champ, right? Because no matter number of counts, I didn't finish in time, so... What are you talking about? Interesting. Interesting. You know, it's it's kind of the whole point <laughs> is like you have one chance, and then, you know, that's like the whole... When you explain an elusive target, you don't say you only first. have one chance. <laughs> yeah, you only have one yeah. chance, but you and can also farm accounts from your chat. Per account. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this guy's unbearable, say. chat. One chance per account. Unbelievable. You can't, you can't uh, compete with him. A uh, lot of bodies there, huh? A lot of dragon. Yeah, I thought it was more uh, like going fast, you know? Aggressive. Attack the problem. Uh-huh. And how many times did you end up going fast? Huh? How many accounts did you One, end up going One, I guess. One. Sad Sam had a great run. I don't know why. His account just really seemed to be cracked. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I wanted to do Jesus. one more. It is kind of late, though. Um, I'm down for whatever. I wanted to do could... one stylish run where we just try to kill him in interesting ways. I know, because I have a, I have an idea or two. Uh, we could run it for twenty minutes. I gotta go by midnight for sure, but I'm down to do a little teensy right. peensy run. Hey, can you tell me? Um, you said Chinese social media was making fun of you. Mm -hmm. Is that true? What were they? Do I don't. I didn't see it. I didn't catch that part of the stream, so I missed out. Oh, uh, I did uh, a video, maybe you can check it out, it's called um, China's Most Inspirational Man or whatever. It's about this guy uh -huh. named Zhao Ai who went uh -huh. on Chinese social media and said, hey, I am lonely, I don't have a girlfriend, my life's not going very well, can you guys give me advice? And they all just fucking roasted him, but he <laughs> took some of the nuggets of truth in there mm. and used it as... Uh, advice and he came back a few months later and he'd like changed his hairstyle and like lost some weight and he's like oh, hey nice. I need more advice and so they were like whoa wait a minute this guy's serious and they kept roasting him but like a little less now and like a little more helpful and then he kept doing it and doing it and doing it and then two years later he was like happily married and like looked like a freaking model and <laughs> you know his whole life changed and so as right. a joke i had stefik set me up an account on the same chinese social media and i posted the same picture and i was like hey roast me or whatever and then she translated all the comments and they're insane i mean there's like so many of them and i was going through them so uh it's a pretty oh. funny uh segment and they did. I mean, yeah, they got a lot to work with, right? So that's right. My favorite thing was the guy who said, "You wear a shirt that says marketing on it, which makes you look poor." <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's just funny. Uh, which was just very funny. Uh, that's good. Yeah. So now I'm afraid to wear that shirt. That come on, dude. It's a good shirt. <laughs> it's a good shirt. Don't let the haters bring you down. Uh, I don't know, dude. When they're from China, I've got some pretty cringe more. shirts. I, I have a shirt that says like I'm a I'm a gamer dad. That's like a normal dad, but cooler. That's what it says. Mm hmm. It explains it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It like says uh, it underneath. It ex like, explains. Uh, that's, the... that's that's a cool shirt. No one would ever make fun of that shirt. This one. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm on the uh, official uh, live. Thing, and I'm gonna yeah. see if I can do um, one cool run uh, of yeah, way I'm of killing to think. him. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna. And we'll meet back here in 15, 20 minutes, okay? And then I have to go, and whatever we got, we All got. Right. All right, bet. bet. Peace. All right, chat. Here's the plan. I have to kill Mark Fabo once in a stylish way. I have been thinking. Uh, what if I do uh, map? Hitmaps Miami. Okay, I go to Hitmaps Miami. I pull up the finish line. I turn everything off. I find only propane flasks. I get all of these. <laughs> no, it'll take too long. Dude, my plan was I get all 10 propane flasks. I clear out the whole balcony. I surround him with 10. I set a bomb and I blow him to the moon. I think that would have been a fun way to kill him, but this will take way more than 10 minutes to set up. Um, damn, 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 damn. It's unfortunate. Um, hmm. Hmm. I guess we could try it. Could at least get like five. I could do a pentagram. We could do the Satanist kill. 
Uh, yeah, wait, I'll do Satanist. <laughs> Give me the... What's, like, the most evil... I'm gonna say... I, I will truly stop him from coming back. Is there no... Which one of these is, like... I mean, this guy. <laughs> it's like Vampire Hunter. Is there truly no, like, uh... Mast? No, I guess not. All right, we'll do we'll do vampire hunter. Mm. Oh wait, yeah, I'll do I'll do I'll do the devil. <laughs> I'll do the devil. Okay, there we go, and we'll send him to hell. Mm. Do, 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 do. Good afternoon, Forty Seven. So, Dave Reddy, our uh, wait, I need this over here so I can find all this stuff. Uh, propane flask. Waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do propane from Propane flask. Is up to you. Be mindful, though. Do I not have a? You will not wait around for long. I think you can throw these now. Oh. Annoying. Nice. And then... Did the sun glitch out? No, I don't think so. Um, we'll grab the propane flask. Dude, it's gonna... This is a nightmare of an idea. <laughs> what time is it? Okay, I got 14 minutes. Uh, I need to... This guy ever turn around? Did he ever leave? No. Are you gonna investigate me? Man, things are being thrown by some joker. We'll look into what do you mean by some joker? You didn't see me throw that. Dumbass. Oh, you saw that lady? Oh, this is... Oh. <laughs> this has already gone bad. This has already gone bad. We're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do it a little differently. We're gonna do it a little differently. <laughs> We're gonna do it a little bit differently. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Okay, nice and easy, nice and clean. <laughs> Just a real, is that a striker? Oh, hello. Who's firing shot? Wow, insane gun. Is that Faber? Thing is, I don't want to shoot Faber. Careful now, he's in the office. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fucking. Where are you going? Where you can't go anywhere. All right, destroy this. Uh, me after watching that video as it said, Hitman is not a stealth game. 
Uh, just need to make sure I find Faba and don't let him. I think that's him right there. Where did I put the propane tank? Famously, that was the whole point. Could kill him with a golf ball or a golf club. All right, we'll go this way. So everything is more locked down. That's Faber. Okay. Faber, Faber, chill out. <laughs> I gotta knock him out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> now, if we can't... If we can't bring the propane to Faba, we have to bring Faba to the propane. Do you follow? Okay, compromised. Compromised, compromised, compromised. Okay. Let's... If I dump him, that'll kill him. Can't do that. Can't do that. So we have to go this way. <laughs> Come on, Mark. Come on. We're going on a little trip. That guy's going to snitch, isn't he? It's funny that some people are just going back to work. <laughs> Wait, who's... Who's got to find me? <laughs> thump, 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 thump. Uh-huh. Just keep on moving. Keep on moving. Nothing to see here. Just keep on moving. Run and don't pay the bills. <laughs> uh huh. Keep on moving. Yeah. I... Just keep moving. <laughs> just keep moving. Just, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just, keep moving. just clean it up. Just clean it up. Everybody relax. Uh -huh. That guard's going to be a problem. Okay. Oh, I'm going to die. 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 Oh shit. Oh shit. Whoo, baby. Get the safe area. Okay. Okay. Everyone relax. Everyone relax. Don't see any guards. Don't see any guards. Perfect. 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 Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, please just be drunk. He's just drunk. He's just drunk. Thud, 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 thud. <laughs> All right, Marky Mark, Jonathan Bean. He's fine. He's just a little drunk. We're going to get him the help he needs. This is what elite assassination techniques look like. Ma'am, don't worry. My friend is drunk. Please don't go run telling a guard. Please don't do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nobody listens to me. Nobody listens to me. Okay. Now uh, we're going to put Mark right here. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. All right, he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Perfect. 
Now we have to get that propane. He's chilling. He's gonna roll. Oh, someone might wake him up. Someone might wake him up. Can't have that. I cannot have that. It's just... Okay, here's what I'll do. If anyone comes to wake him up, they themselves will get knocked out. <laughs> perfect. 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 Perfect, perfect plan. Perfect plan. Perfect plan. Now I am safe. Now all I have to do... Oh, shit. Is go to the top of the stairs where I left the propane. Where was that? Which stairs? Who lost? Oh, there's people. Where was that propane? <laughs> Bro, where was that propane? Where I don't even remember where I picked it up and where I went. The stairs? What stairs are we talking about? Can I see Mark from here? Oh, Mark. There he is. <laughs> He's good. Mark's good. Okay. Uh... Damn, I don't remember where I put that fucking pro pain. I got a visual like on the pro pain from my real friends, real friends. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, that dude shot fucking fast. Quick draw, fucking McGraw. Jesus. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Quick draw McGraw over here! Give me some fucking guns. <laughs> Jesus. Die! Die, you fucking hero! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Propane! Oh my god, look, the propane! Oh, it's a propane mother load! Perfect. Okay. All I need is a pentagram, so I have at least three. I need two more. <laughs> Dude, this guy tried to wake him up. Look what happens. That's what happens, motherfucker. You try to wake him up, you end up in the drink. I'm a hammer. I'm a hammer. I don't. Could have killed him. Didn't. Hero. Uh, okay, we have to get the other three. Hey, hey. The jogger's still jogging. <laughs> the jogger still hard at work. I love that. You gotta. Right over there. Okay. Am I? Looking good, man. Careful. Looking. Oh. Oh, you can't, you can't do those. Wait, where did I? It was like this. It was right here. That's where it was. Everyone relax. Everyone's getting too antsy. Everyone's getting too antsy. Just keep moving. Don't shoot me. <laughs> it's just insane that Agent 47, as strong as he is, cannot carry two propane tanks at one time. It's his greatest weakness as an assassin. 
He can't use his other hand. Hmm. This is world record pace. <laughs> uh, world record propane percent, perhaps. Over there. Over where? Over where? Over where, buddy? Okay. You gotta be kidding. Lost visual. Wait. Lost visual. Who lost it? Who? Who? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh! 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 Fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Fucking Christ! Everyone, security here is insane, dude. Uh, there's like five more guards down there. Jogger still at work. What? We Agent Forty Seven. Oh, Look out. yeah. Okay. There he is. Just relax. Whoa. Just relax. Everyone, relax. We're almost there. It's twelve o'clock. Okay. <laughs> But I would feel ashamed if we didn't get all five points of this star. So I need two more propanes. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't remember where I put the last one. Oh, I do remember. I, I put it up the stairs. Okay, I do remember where I put it. I remember where the fourth one is. Now I just need the fifth. I just need the fifth propane. So it would be up these stairs. Let's just, you guys keep saying the stairs. But it's these stairs. I know the food truck has propane, but like that's pretty far away. When I could just go up here. And I think I left it right here. Yep. Back though, okay? so <laughs> there it is. And there's my dart gun if I need it. <laughs> okay. All right. Perfect. Thank God there was three there, because otherwise this would have taken actually 900 years. Okay. Now I walk all the way over here. Yo. Oh, what up? Uh, um, wait. I'm chilling. Take your time. Okay. Oh. Oh, the food truck, the food stand start, food vendor start has a, uh, has one is what I meant. Uh, okay. Put one here. <laughs> All right. Now we just have to go back. Funny how 47 carry a briefcase. Yeah, you can carry a briefcase in one hand and a propane in another, but he can't carry two propanes. That's too far. Why is she just doing her job? Everyone is just going back to work as if there's not an assassin setting up a propane tank in front of them. Um, I think another one is right across this. Like at the bottom of down there, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get paid. <laughs> I feel like you get... Oh, shit. Can't have that guy biting me in the back. There he is, right there. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Propane? Propane! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up we go. Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
And now all we have to do is make a quick pit stop into the lobby to grab our detonator. And see if we can launch Mark Faba as far out to sea as we can. So there's my detonator. Okay. <laughs> Go over here. Crouch to save 0.1 seconds down the stairs. It's all about speed with a speedrun like this. It's about shaving off every fractional second you can. Okay. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Perfect. Let's get this a little bit closer. We really want kind of a pentagram, huh? But it has to... Hmm. I want him to fly out to sea. So it has to be angled. It can't be like an actual star. It has to be like a... More like Christmas tree, really. <laughs> like this. <laughs> and then I placed the C4 block right here. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Make a save beforehand. You can't save these. Um... So this should... Christmas tree... Boom! Fly him out to sea. We land him on the yacht, he lives a good life. That's the idea, okay? I feel like that's a real kill. Uh, now, to get a good vantage point. I feel like if I'm up on that balcony, I could see really well. Should I do it over here? So I have a better view? Yeah. Yeah, this stuff's in the way. Mm. I don't want to drag it all. Just use the stairs. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Plus the yachts there. Okay, I, I think I can see it. Because I saw it from up there before. I saw it from up there before. Okay. Here we go. Now we just have to go... Uh... Go back in here. No, not back in here. Not back in here. Over here. I got him right there. I don't have the key card. Sorry, sorry, but you don't have a key card? Really? Ma'am, run inside. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Sorry, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> go about your business. <laughs> I needed that. Sorry, sorry, ma'am. Go about your business. Okay. Then we climb the ladder of success. Oh. Wait, who? If I get shot right before I fucking finish this, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna lose my mind if I get shot at the end. Okay. Now we go out here. We have a perfect view. Oh, perfect. Okay, we have an excellent view of Mark Faber. Now, all we do is hit the detonator. And this should be truly the last life of the so-called undying Sean Bean. Sayonara. <laughs> All right. That's about that. Oh, seven soldier. Uh, we can take any exit we want because everyone is dead. Don't smoke, it'll kill you.
He's right over the Who are you talking to? Damn, I tranquilized his eye. Oh my god, dude. I tranquilized his fucking eye. I'm gonna put him out of his misery. That's crazy. And we're out like we were never there. Okay. Uh, does anyone have a clip? I want to send it to a spectacle. Yo, I'm done. I'm done. Do you have a clip? Yeah. Right. Oh, shit. I almost responded to my Greg voice there. Yeah. You know I mean? uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? I was like, <laughs> uh, right. yeah, I sent it to you. I'm I watching you. yours. Let me see. Let me see what you got. So I just sent you the part like after I got there. Mm hmm. And I think the cool part of my my kill was how I got him to come outside. Because I could not figure out how to get him to come outside. Yeah, I will, Clint. So, I, let me know. You, are you playing I'm it? I'm watching it. Yeah, yeah, you tranked them both. Yeah. You yep. are dragging the bodies. Flashy, where are you? I need you. You got Lil Flashy. Putting Lil Flashy right on the edge. Okay, I like that. He sees Lil Flashy. Oh, that's fun. He doesn't see the body. He ignores it. Oh, he ignores it. Hello. Yeah, he completely ignored it. He's I tried to do a little flashy. flashy. He sees and then a you... robot that ignores it. <laughs> and dude, you all you have to do is drive fire trank or a pistol. That's uh, all you have to do. Interesting. He hears the pistol. Like there's sound, the trank there's sound. thirty ways I tried to get him outside <laughs> with the the fuse. I tried throwing a coin. I tried doing something else. Right, nothing worked. And then I, yeah. Dude, I you see. use a gun. Mm -hmm. I see. You That's all I got. Uh, and then you just, uh, you can just poison him without even closing That's the door. <laughs> so they if see him get poisoned, poison but they don't see you do it, and so they don't. Yeah, yeah. except the problem matter. was, is that I didn't realize it. Look. <laughs> what? I got locked in without realizing it, because I dragged that one technician <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's sick. It's the, yeah. the, the, you're drinking inside. I went a different direction in that I did not attempt to keep it a secret what I was doing <laughs> right. from other members of the... Yeah, you just... So here's the clip. Um, you did it out in the open? <laughs> I did do it out in the open. Here's the clip. I just, you know, he's called the undying. I wanted to make sure he was dead this time. It was sort of my key moment. And this should be... <laughs> Clip titled, Truly. I Believe I Can Fly? <laughs> yeah. Dying Sean Bean. Wait. Sayonara. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. He actually went so high, he went man. Really high, yeah. Like we, that was perfect. I, I did you have like two Christmas propane tree? Tanks? I know it was five. I did a pentagram of like a Christmas tree around him. You had five? Yeah, it took me forever to fucking drag him all over from the map. Yeah, uh, dude. How did you even get him all the way out there? There's three kind of nearby, and then two of them it took me fucking ever. <laughs> but he goes so high, dude. <laughs> it's actually so satisfying. Yeah, he goes yeah, way, was, way I was too high. It was gonna be unsatisfying, but it worked perfectly. He perfectly launched. Uh, you gotta figure he's dead after that. You know, the fall, the drowning, the explosion. You don't know Mark Faber <laughs> like I do. All right, he could he could come back at any time. Yeah, Adrian. flash forward him crawling out of the water. Yeah, there's a, you know uh, like yes, marks. exactly. He washes up on the beach like an Inception, <laughs> and he smiles. <laughs> you almost had me. All right, well that was fun. Good gaming with yeah, you. Yeah, it was a blast, uh, man. GGs. Uh, congratulations uh, on doing it in one run. That's is cost efficient for sure as i had to use what 60 times Dude, you could just do five. it on peacock i can't you know what i mean there, you have options i prefer you're crazy to send to dox themselves and send me their emails and passwords oh um the thing is i i, I take all their emails and passwords and I, I run it through every bank account that i can find so i can find any matches so the whole point of me is to get money from my mm. chatter it's a long -term you're trying to play. dox your chatters yeah i use those passwords to log in and buy gifted subs uh observer sent me this if you want to look at it 
Uh, yeah, well, do right I, I'm now, not going to get it now, but we're going to do that thing with Linkus yeah. when he gets back. So, anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking it would be perfect for. So. Boom. Good night. Good luck. Much love. Peace, Lance man. Back. Peace. Have a good that was fun. Thanks for watching, chat. Sorry it's a little late. I went too long. I'm a little tired, but uh, good time playing Hitman with the dog. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I think that was a satisfying finish. And now I'm out for the night. Probably not live tomorrow unless I want to play a detective game, which I can't rule out because it was fun. But I have to work on Marketing Monday to keep the streak going. We have a good episode this week. We did pre-prep. We got stories picked out. We have one slot for breaking news. We have, oh, it's, I think it's... We're really getting to a system where I think it's going to level it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Good night. I'm going to rate a Spectacore, of course, for playing with us. Um, go check him out. He's a fantastic uh, human being. Irregardless of what game he's playing. Uh, a Spectacore.